Hello, I'm Domin Yak Diamond, and welcome to Retro on Lim Live 3. Not Ashens. Hello, I'm Not Ashens. You might know me from such YouTube videos as that one where I review Panama's on Tash, or those other ones where people have sent me in food that's probably gone off. You may have noticed I have a different hairstyle. Um, I've put on weight. Due to a recent head injury, I can sound completely different, and I'm not actually Stuart Ashens. In this video, I'm going to be looking at some Poundland stuff that I've managed to pick up, and some kind, yes, kind viewers have sent me in some food to review, so I'm going to look at that too. Anyway, to the sofa. So, firstly, some kind person has sent me this. I've opened it up already. It's a Mars bar. Apparently it's from 1996. Yum. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, okay, it's... Let's zoom in here. Well, it hasn't survived too well. It's got that weird white dog shit look that, that well, old bars tend to have. Um, it's shrunk, obviously, as well, a lot. It's still kind of gooey inside. Let's, 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 let's have a look. Let's have a little nibble just to see. No, it doesn't, it doesn't taste of any... Stay down, stay down. No. It doesn't taste of anything at first, and then, oh god, it's foul. No, okay, look, enough, enough, enough. Let's look at the. Oh god, oh that's disgusting. Ah. Okay, first bit of Poundland had been sent. It's City Hero. Yes, it's a hero for the city. It's a. Oh, let's have a look. It's flames. Not the three sad onions. Yes, now. I can't work out, let's see if we can zoom back here a bit, I can't work out if either A, there's a fairly radical feminist working in whatever action zero hitty, city hero land and said, women have just as much right to be UN weapons inspectors as anybody else and has gone and designed female soldier, or whether it's just more likely a case of that a couple of thousand dodgy Barbie knockoffs and some G.I. Joe gear and went, hey, let's go and combine the two, look, that doesn't come off, eyes, look at them, she's got pits, it's kind of like Lady Gaga has in some sort of UN tour, oh, the arm's falling off. Oh dear, it's all rather strange. Does it ever have, look, the boots even fit. It's Brazil, Nazi salute. Uh, what else do we have here? Go! It's an AK-47. Does it fit? Oh, she's only got one hand. No, no, just does Nazi salutes. And there. Oh, it's all gone horribly wrong. And there's a handgun, which I'm not even going to remove from there because it's just wrong. Uh, okay, let's see. What have we got? Oh, yes. It's the second of my culinary delights tonight. Puppets from 1976. Why do you people do, do? Do you want to see me ill? Is that it? Okay, let's let's see what we're, it's gooey inside. How is that even? They should be dry. Let's see if we can zoom in here a bit. Oh, let's let's get a plate. Oh my God, they're gooey. They've they've just desiccated, but yet they're still gooey. God. 
You know you want me to do it. Why? Ashens, why not Ashens? Why not Ashens? Do you do this to yourself? Uh, okay, let's do this thing. Oh my god! Okay, so it's a little bit later on. Uh, I've thrown them out. They were just smelling the place up. Um, I think they hadn't been stored properly. I think there was mold. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's let's just move on. This is from a uh, I don't even know the name of the shop this came from. I don't care. Oh, it's let's see. It's a W W two. Warbird. It's planes there. It's USA scale model. Technical data. Engine model. General Electric something something. Speed. It's fast. First flight. 26 of the 10th, 1940. In fairness, there's actually a bit of a um, bump here. It's based on the P-51 Mustang. Um, See, not the three side onions there, but seven plus. I'm assuming it'll kill anyone under three, but it won't provide any enjoyment for anyone over the age of seven. Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's see what they're not even trying now. Go USA. Does it even? The, the, Okay, well, let's just finish this. Uh, we sent the parcel. Um, in it was this tin and a note. Let's see. According to this, these are beans in treacle. From the Truppen's Haypenny shop. From some time in the late 1880s. You people are sick. What do you want from me? Okay, let's do this thing quickly. I'm not eating these. I'd already opened them up. Let's get the... It's just desiccated. I don't know if you can see there. It's just whatever was inside is long dried up. There's no smell. There's, there's no nothing. It's just... What, 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 why am I, no, don't, 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 no, 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 uh, must eat the old food, must do what no one else dares does, oh god, it's okay, it's okay, it actually still tastes a bit of beans, it's not, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, it turns out eating 130 year old beans can cause some very major nerve damage. The good news is the doctors say that my eyesight should return eventually, at least in one eye. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you feel like sending in any more food for me to review, please fuck off and die in a fire, you sick fuck. If you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. In the unlikely event that Stuart Ashton ever actually sees this, um, for the love of God, please don't set your army of fans on me because I am one and it's kind of awkward because I know where I live. Um, anyway, thanks for uh, for watching and uh, yeah, go 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 to Ashton's.com. He's got a film coming out that's really good, hopefully. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. What the heck was that? Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Everybody's muted. Hopefully you can hear them. I'm, I'm, turning, into, I'm turning into a pirate. I mean, I'm turning into a pirate. I am Dominic Diamond. I hope everybody is unmuted now. <laughs> Stop laughing at the back. You. 
Yo, Braveheart, what's going on, baby? We have. And I'm turning into an American gangster for some reason. It's Chris the Shanked. Hello, Chris. Say hello up, to money? the camera. What's up, bro? How's it hanging? Pretty good. Chicago, baby. Yeah, Cubs. Yo. Also, we have Smooth MJ. And notice I've completely dropped the Scottish accent here because I'm not very good at it, as you know. Hello, Smooth. Hello. Do you mind if I call you that, Smooth? You can call me that. I'll call you MJ. Jamon. Sounds better. Oh, oh, what was that? Jamon. <laughs> oh, sorry, I promised I wouldn't do that again. So we'll move on to the next person. Next person is... Oh, I think it might be that bloke from Charlie. Hello. Hello. That is Smooth MJ, isn't it? Well, Smooth MJ is from Charlie as well. I did not know that. I was talking about... A certain inebriated member of Retro One Limb who was on last week. <laughs> yes. Gashead! Speak! Hello. Hello. Are you woodland by chance? Uh, I should have been, shouldn't I? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No. Oh, my, uh, my, my props department let me down. Right, the whole show is completely ruined already. <laughs> Whoops. We were supposed to have Woodlin on, but unfortunately we could only get Gashead in his, in his place. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I didn't What are you saying? Way. What are you saying? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Move on to the next person quickly. <laughs> We've got... Ah, a very angelic Gashead. Yeah. We've got... Mr. Retro and Lim himself is back here again. Hello, Steve. Hi, Yuck. You all right, mate? Yeah. Oh, I'm a little bit flustered after that. Frantic introduction there, sure. but we got through it. That's the most yes. important thing, I think. I'm going to let you introduce the next person. Who do you wish to introduce next? Okay, next we have um, Half Bit, a retro <gasps> perspective. Hello. Ow. What? What was that? Oh no! Are you in trouble, retrospective perspective? Send the ambulances round. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, cut to the test guard, quickly! Ah, hello there, I'm Dominic Diamond, and this is an excellent test card. A complete rip-off from Ashens. Who's that talking? There's an echo. Alright then, now we're going to introduce the celebrity guests. Not that the people who I've already introduced aren't celebrities. No way. But we have some extra special guests on tonight. First up, it's the person you were just seeing the video of. It's Stuart Ashen. <laughs> Hello, Stuart. Hello. <laughs> That's the only thing I can do that does remotely like it. And it doesn't even that. I like the Poundland Ashens. Yes, I quite like Poundland, so don't okay. diss on Poundland, boy. The two euro shop Ashens, if that's any better. That's like the Irish equivalent of Poundland. It's even worse. <laughs> what are you drinking there tonight? I have to ask. I am drinking Aldi's finest. Ah, San Indeed. Uh, and I've just noticed you look a little bit like David Brent from The Office. Ah, that's it. <laughs> this interview's over. <laughs> oh dear. I've been called worse. Okay. No, next. I haven't actually. You will be by the end of this. Oh God, yes. Next in the hangout, straight from the United States. It's that guy with the glasses. It's the console. I mean, the nostalgia critic. Hello, I'm the shitty nostalgia critic, and I remember. So you don't have to. Remember what? <laughs> Stuff. Okay. Um, Real bad movies and TV shows like Captain N, the fucking Games Master. Hey, don't this Games Master? I'll have you sued for that. Oh, dear. That, that impression is getting worse and worse, isn't it? I'm going to stop doing it. How long do I have to keep this up, Steve? <laughs> Should have been cosplaying as Dave Perry. At least I can get Just a punch. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a gaming journalist. Oh, thank God. Can I take I'm this shit off now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you stripping down to the flesh? Fucking right I am. Well, I'll take the camera off you right there. Ah, there we go. 
And right. who do we have left to introduce? Ah, but the biggest one of them all. <laughs> no, we got Stu. <laughs> he's, the ang- he's the angriest game that you've ever heard. He is the angry Nintendo nerd. He's I a gamer. Ha- Hello! <laughs> Yes, I'd rather have a buffalo take a diarrhea dump in my ear. He <laughs> looks more like Michael Caine than the egg. <laughs> hey, I've got pens in my pocket. That's all that matters. <laughs> my name is Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Look this. This really is like a Halloween party, isn't it? So who have you come as? Well, nobody knows. and. Uh, that's the whole fun of it, isn't it? Here he goes. He's focusing. He's <laughs> All right. Oh, I think I see penis. I believe there is one more guest to introduce. Chris. Chris. It's a blurry camera bloke. Reveal yourself. Oh, go. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus okay, Christ! Then. <laughs> this is really no introduction. I'm Steve Benway Chalice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rob Clark, and I am bloody incredible. Anyway, <laughs> I'm off and down. It's not a walk through, play through, something like that. If you play the game badly, you can see what it looks like. Hello, <laughs> there's a talkie. So what have we got to talk about today? Well, I've forgotten. What the hell? Oh, you bastard. Words feeling. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Talk about the CD32. <laughs> 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 and I just like to say I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> Somebody else continue the show. Man down. Man oh. down. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I apologise for I apologise. I am true as well. <laughs> I apologise for laughing all over your introduction there. Your highly scripted introduction that we just laughed over. It's alright, it's probably better. Oh my god. Gordon Bennett. Oh my god. That was fucking awesome. (laughs) That's your purple robe. (laughs) Where's your purple dressing gown? It's like John Lennon. Sorry. <laughs> it's like John Lennon. Hey, Jews. John Lennon and Liberace fucking having a baby. <laughs> oh, oh, two men oh. down, two men down. Thank God you're bald. Because that would not work on you. <laughs> Where's Some, over here? Somebody get me some sugar quickly. Oh, dear. Oh. So yes, that's our cornicle for your YouTube stars for tonight. This special retro and limb live three YouTube <laughs> Jeez. I'm losing my breath. YouTube Geek Week Gaming Nights. Yeah, yes. You've Hello. Got, you, you've got Chris. Ah no! Oh. Oh. Spider Man has entered the call. Hello, Spider Man. With great power comes great responsibility. Did Spider Man ever say that? No, his Uncle Ben did. All oh, right. What? Uncle Ben's? He just sprayed rice. <laughs> Half bit, are you still alive after all that? Oh, yeah. No! No! We've lost him! Oh, dear, oh, dear. Go to Plan B, Jack. Go to Plan B. His trailer oh. park connections just conked out. Oh, <laughs> oh, steady. Now you're crossing the line there. So well, that's mo- what they're there for, aren't they? Lines are there to be crossed. <sighs> so, how can I... Jay going nowhere where no one would go. All right. I forgot how warm it was having here. <laughs> <laughs> so how the heck am I going to follow that? How the heck are we going to follow that? It's going to be literally impossible, but we're going to try. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'd like to laugh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the way live streaming go, baby. <laughs> so, 
So guys, tonight we're going to have the usual <coughs> retro chat, but the more observant among you may have already noticed, as I said earlier, that today is YouTube Geek Week's gaming day. So what are we going to do? Call Ghostbusters! Now, we're going to play some video games. And you've already seen our star-studded lineup for this edition. And here we go. To kick us off, because I know everybody out there in Streamland loves this, we have on this day, today, the 8th of August, 2013. Sorry about that. Shit almost happened. The end. Yeah. Pardon oh, me. come on. <laughs> right. Are you trying to shoot down this stream? Fucking right. I challenge, I <laughs> challenge you to a fight tonight at Madison Square Gardens. Ugh. Oh yeah, brother, it's the Metro Man. What you gonna do, brother, when these two-inch pythons come for you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It is what it is, cause it is, brother. We're showing them live on the 2013. we We're gonna bring it to you, me and Miss Elizabeth, and our dead little skull, which I fucked to death. Oh yeah. <laughs> Next Luger, if I ever get my hands on you, me and Steve Benway, we're gonna tag. Team Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You join his life for Bremner Bird and Chris Ashanked. But you just so happen to bring up wrestling there. It is Eric Angle's birthday today. He is 45. Do you know who he is? Kurt Angle. He Kurt is Angle's Kurt, brother. Kurt Angle's brother, that's exactly right. He is 45. In, uh, he's in rehab. Oh. He got done for a DUI three days ago, and uh, as a result, he's now in rehab. Oh, right. Something of an <laughs> unintentional topical one, that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but it's also the birthday of The Edge out of you too. If I were a real guitarist, I'd play a little bit of a riff right now, but... Yeah, right. This is my salute for him. <clears throat> what was that? Fucking YouTube, indeed. <laughs> You're pissing me off right now. Don't mention YouTube. Uh, YouTube? You too. <laughs> My brain's fried from laughing. <laughs> I think the same goes for all of us. <laughs> I just seen the comments. There's a guy in the ch chat stream. He's going to purposely ignore me because I hate Wipeout Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop bringing your trolls into these That's screens. Guys, stay retro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the stream. It's also Nigel Mansell's birthday. He is 59 today. And Paul Hogan, Crocodile Dundee, is 73. So That's hello. a knife. This is a knife. Awesome. You played Knifey Spoonie before, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and to bring us back to the video game theme, it's Ken Tukaragi's. Kutaragi's birthday, should I say. He's the father of the PlayStation, and he is Nintendo 63. No, that doesn't work, does it? What? Oh, well. Oh, who's your little friend there, AVGM? <laughs> Have you seen this person? Huh? <laughs> Who is it? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's... Eve. It's, um... Eve. Eve. From Wally. It's, uh... Eve. Oh, uh, Wally. Is the beard? Yay, it's characters from a movie I'm never going to watch. <laughs> it's, uh, who's, who's the... Johnny Five. I, I don't know, the one with the beard. Monkey's pass. Wong. Who's your little robotic friend, though, Jesus? It's Steve Benway's robot's <laughs> girlfriend. That's his name. What? He's got a gun. Have you guys seen the um the GameCube mod which they turned into Wally? That's awesome. Yes. No, I saw a Tally Twenty Six Hundred one as well somewhere the other day. Has anybody Fuck played off the... back to your CD32, you hippie cunt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, dear. Right, well, you're set the sea class. Wow. <laughs> tough guy. <laughs> tough guy plus a thousand. Jesus. <laughs> hey, yo. We wow. made this. We made pickups. Anything you guys do, the game chasers did it first. So fuck you and forget it, man. Somebody was trying to speak there. Was that your little friend, Ri Richard? Yeah, that's that your little friend, like... Stevie. Hey? Was that your little friend talking? <laughs> Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> that thing is fucking terrifying. It's annoying as well. If you put it, that's just the test thing. If you put it on the proper thing, it's down. Asleep... If you fell asleep with your mouth open, I'd probably skull fuck you. Oh, we can.
can see the reflection of your screen in its eyes. That's rather scary. Hey. Eh? Ah, no! Get it off, get it off! Now, I know we're all big kids playing video games, but don't you think that's a step too far, really? Do, do you take that down the park, do you, Rolf Harris? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Who are you talking to? Not me. You've got a large hand covering up your face there, AVGN. I know, I'm moving it. Just because we're talking about Rolf Harris, did you see the thing in the paper about Jimmy Savile? Don't go yeah, there, yeah. Ben White. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke, then. <laughs> We're going to have to do a segment later, the Thursday talkie, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> With John Lennon. The ropey so, John Lennon. We were talking about Wally earlier. That put me in mind of Where's Wally. Has anybody ever played the game of Where's Wally? I think it was on the Nintendo. Yeah. It was on yes. the GameCube, I think. It's a fucking game. It was on the yeah. GameCube? Yeah. So it's a game of like the book where you have the, to find a little straight yeah. fucker. The books were lame enough. No, I had, yeah. I had a game. You have to pick up blocks and move them around to open up different sections of the map. Angry video video game nerd, if you don't stop with the crazy sound effects, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to eject you from this call. What was on um the crazy camera uh, effects. Where's Wally was on the NES, actually. That's right, yes. Huh. I think I saw the irate gamers review of that. <sighs> it was okay. done by, um, funnily enough, it was done by the same people who made Skyrim, wasn't it, Bethesda? Who, what? What? Fuck, they must have done that on a day off. Have they not done a Where's Wally mod for that? Oh, where's Wally mod for, <laughs> for Skyrim? <laughs> that was funny as fuck. Yeah. They've done everything else, haven't they? Yeah, you've got another fucking porn mod on that damn game. Creepy. Ah, yeah, perfect body for your channel, I should say. Mr. I'm Consoles. thinking about it. I am thinking about it. I have downloaded mods in the past for these fucking... Oh, just so fucking creepy. It's like, why would you... If you're an aspiring modder that wants to get into the business, why make a porn mod in a fucking game? Mm. Do you know Does the... Uh, the lead... The lead developer for World of Warcraft, uh, he started as a uh, a modded guy. He did a mod for Age of Empires 2, I think. And that's how he got his job, by making a mod. Oh, I've right. been playing that game for five years. <laughs> that used to be a fairly you know, handy way of getting into, you know, getting noticed you know, as a programmer, was writing a mod for... Like, there was the... Uh, another, the guys that did... Um, Daisy? Uh, Desert Combat. <laughs> yeah, but sorry, did you ever play... Uh, you probably haven't played this... Uh, and the Battlefield 1942 mod Desert yeah. Combat, which yeah. the guys, but it was basically like an early version of Battlefield 2, you know. Uh, and uh, oh, we have a live yeah. call on the oh. show. Who is it? Whose call was? Whose phone was that? That was Benway. We're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> Benway. Oh, yeah. Lennon. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm shaving the fucking beard off. That's it. It's gone. Lennon's Are you going to do it live? Shave no, it up no. now. Do it now. <clears throat> oh, look at that. <laughs> Benway, you have snaps. <laughs> it's, that's the real Steve Benway in the closet there. Look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Steve's you gonna cruel be... bastard. You give, a, give him fucking scraps to eat. Good lord. Is that a munchie box, leftovers? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. At the end of last week's show... As you know, we risk the ire of the whole of the YouTube gaming community by posting a retro picture yeah, of Steve of Benway complete with 90s hairdo. And I'm going to get that up for you in a minute, for those of you who haven't seen it. And I said I'd take the flag for that. Oh, man, bad karma, bad karma. Well, <laughs> he, he, I got a flag from me. Yeah, he didn't send us any flack. He was rather praising, actually. Yeah. He sent me a personal message, and it was nice to read. So I'm going to just leave it on Benway there while I just load up the picture so everybody in the hangout can see this. Thank you, Steve. Then we do a comparison. <laughs> 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 what, what's the pizza that you're eating? Is it garlic bread? No, no, no. It's garlic bread. No. I'm doing it wrong. You guys, chat amongst yourselves. Technical lift. Now I look like Bob. Send her back up. The fuck? 
bollocks it. I'm going to play some blazing lasers. Hey! What's blazing lasers? This little gem what? right here. What do you mean, what's blazing lasers? There goes your game of cards, you faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. What's it on? It's on Turbo Graphics. Blazing yeah. lasers. I don't have the, one of them. If you haven't, we have an expert on the Turbo Graphics right in this room, Mr. Halfbit. Take it away. Halfbit's broken. I don't know what's going on with Halfbit. Unfortunately, he's had enough. <laughs> the only thing that happened is he that said that was the first uh, target on Benway's list. Halfbit, <laughs> so, uh, he's gone. Let's see. Over the course Let's of the evening, people are just going to get taken out. Okay, That's, guys. Uh, he, um, I yeah. have up on the stream right now the picture of Mr. Benway from. <laughs> Well, I presume it's from the from the nineties. Oh, hold on a minute. Hang on, we're showing this again. Is that a bit it's, more like it? It's for the benefit of those who didn't see it last week, and also as a comparison. It's amazing. With... I just like him. <laughs> <laughs> there literally is no difference. Look, you upset Gasset. He's <laughs> he just want to get involved in this. That's it, you know, he's going to be outside my window and tapping on. It's good to be killing as well. Have you guys, have any of you guys ever had any hardcore fans? Has anybody ever sent you really <laughs> gushing messages and stuff like um, that? From the message I just got in this stream, no. <laughs> I know I'm very ignorant to horses, though. <laughs> Fucking stupid. I, um, I had one the other week. I don't know who it is, but. Uh, yeah, I had a, a really woodland. nice <laughs> message. It was really bizarre, but it was it was kind of nice actually. Go on. Uh, it was just a guy who didn't have any videos or anything. He said, "Oh, I really look forward to your videos. Um, it really gives me something to look forward to and all this stuff." And I said, "Well, you want to watch a real video then and check out such and such, such and such, and sent him a bunch of links." So I've probably yeah, now check lost out the that fan. snob. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, no, I did send one of the links I gave him was retrounlim.com, so he's yeah, cool. probably hanging himself from the ceiling <laughs> by the light bulb. <laughs> um, <laughs> just from the look of James Mega, he dressed as uh, Steve Benway. Don't say my name; he's gonna find me now. <laughs> oh wait, I've got your address actually. Let's. Uh... <laughs> you got. <laughs> you got my old address. Basically, out in the country, Scotland. That's <laughs> if you can find him from that, you're welcome to him. <laughs> In the countryside, Scotland. <laughs> just, just north of the border, though. That does yeah. it. <laughs> Scott, what are your thoughts on this game? I fucking love this game. It's fucking so badass. Probably one of the best shooting maps I've ever played. The first level, though, if you see quite a lot of videos on the tube, the first level does not do this game justice. On the when tube? Do you, get... you yeah. mean that show with, oh, what's the name of that? Annoying Mancunian, annoying Mancunian guy. Don't... I don't know, Harry yeah. Yak? Hey, don't call me a manker, I'll come round your house <laughs> Harry and smack Yak, you. Why I'll come round your house and video? smack you. Harry Yak live on video? Yeah, why aren't you on the webcam? Yeah, the live on the game's quite hard to find for the Say again? Are the games quite hard to find for it? Oh, on the Turbo, yeah, because there's only 90 released, and we share the same amount of games as the uh, the Yanks do, so, yeah. Can you play Yanks sounds... games on it? Yeah, yeah. All, the, all the Turbo Graphics 16 games are compatible, but the problem is PC Engine games are not. I have to either right. get an adapter or just buy PC Engine, which I'm going to do anyway in a couple of weeks. They're expensive, but they're not. I was looking at them the other day. Well, a PC engine is about, say, the same price as a Turbo Graphics, a European one, anyway. So, yeah. it's not that bad. Yeah, about 60 quid. This I mean, one you... cost me. Go on. Go on. Go on. I was going to oh, say, you can get a wow. Turbo Graphics 16 for about 60 quid. Well, um, was... and the, the games are around 5 quid for a shit one uh, to about 10 quid for a moderate to 20 for a decent. Well, I think the best place to go at the moment for like PC Engine games would be either Steve Benway or uh, Dave Long Boys Post 1975 because that's all he's been covering for like the last week is just straight up PC Engine. Mm. You, the the Splatterhouse on the PC Engine is very good. Yeah, I, 
I'm looking for, well, what I've done anyway, I've ordered a Turbo uh, EverDrive, so I'll be able to put all those all those games on that one flash cart and be able to play it th that way. Oh, but what, cool. what I'm doing really is just like testing the waters and then hopefully I'll pick up a PC engine and start collecting proper. I've been eyeing, I've been eyeing up quite a lot of games right now, so yeah. I had a, I had a fantastic port of um, Ortype. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. think that's what really uh, got me... Like okay, I'm gonna buy one now because uh, the best way I can describe the Turbo Graphics 16 is it's a real gamers gaming machine. If that makes sense, like yeah, if, you, if you're really into your fires, if you're really into your shooters, it's the best thing you can get, man. It's oh yeah, I'm, I'm I love my shoot 'em ups, and so you know I'm really at home with this. That's one of the reasons why I wanted this console and also a Neo Geo because they have fucking awesome shoot 'em ups and also, of course, fighting games. How compatible is it to the Mega Drive? Um, some of the games look really good on the Turbo graphics. The only problem is, is that the sound isn't that great. The problem is with the Turbo is that the CPU is 8-bit while the graphics is 16. So it's sort of like it's not... Yeah, it's 16-bit looking, but there's sometimes some games just look like real bad Master System games. It's a bit of a weird mismatch. I wouldn't mind grabbing the CD unit, but that's going to be rare if rock and roll shit, so that's why I'm going to go for a PC Engine Duo, probably, yes. and uh, be able to collect uh, Castlevania, Rondo of Blood, and all those awesome games, and especially Ease. I fucking love Ease. Yeah, Ease is a great game. Or, the wise is some of you, or Wise, as some of you Philistines call it. No, it's Ease. Oh my God, forget as slow as I am to jump in here and interrupt your intellectual no, 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 no. chat, <laughs> I'm going to have to bring the level down just a little bit. What did you guys think of the introduction video? Fucking hilarious. It was, yeah, as good as a, a parody of Ash as you're going to get, really. And yeah. that fucking, that Mars bar, as soon as I oh. saw it, I was like, nah, fuck that. It was disgusting, wasn't it? I always, <laughs> I always cringe when Ashens eats those 50-year-old snack foods and things like that. Does he really eat them? Does he really chew them? Well, suffer for your art, that's what I say. Yeah. He has to. I'm doing it for the internet, guys. And that's yeah, like, supposed to be... You get paid quite a bit for doing that, though. Ah, well, there is that. I forgot. Well, <coughs> I couldn't care if he got paid or not, you know. He, he it's entertaining, just, yeah. Yeah, he just does it for the entertainment, you know. Yeah. Half bit, Spock. Hello, half bit. Oh! Is it working now? <laughs> Yeah, it's working with you, yeah. Hello. It's how great it is to have an international voice on the show. How great it is. <laughs> Lads, I'm from a different country, you know. <laughs> you know, we are a foreign country to you guys. Kind of. Scotland. I apologise if I've offended you, though. With that. Are you talking about Dropkick Murphy? Hey, are you... Are you Irish or are you Northern Irish? I'm Irish. I'm Protestant. You're Irish. Oh, I'm, I'm from the Republic. Dublin. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> You're Irish. Well, there's a big difference, man. I've 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 got an Irish surname, Heaney. So yeah, I was I gonna I was gonna say that, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You, got, you got any Irish relations? Yeah, massive. Seamus, you might have heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is everyone laughing? Was well, Seamus the dog? No, Seamus Heaney was offered the I... post of poet, poet laureate by the Queen, and he told her to piss off. And that's how you know that he's related to me. Oh, I thought you meant the Celtic warrior. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> yeah. Actually, when I saw Heaney, I did think Seamus Heaney. But, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, luckily, I'm sorry, luckily, luckily, Seamus is injured, by the way. Luckily, yeah. you distance yourself from Seamus because he sucks. He drops ah, he he I'll tell you what, Seamus, in, in all seriousness, Seamus is a really nice guy. Yeah, well, he's a nice imagine. guy, but I just can't stand his, his wrestling style. It's just so blah, you know? I know, but he sounds... <laughs> yeah, but he's injured, though. He got injured yeah. last night. He's Six months out. Yeah. Well, you've got to remember about anybody that goes over there. They get told how to wrestle. They don't get any... Yeah. Well, the only one that, if you believe all the hype, that broke the mold is CM Punk right now. And probably say... And probably... And, and Antonio Cesario and Daniel Bryan. Yeah, yeah, Daniel Bride. I wasn't really a big fan of him when he first came into the WWE, but I've really got into his work now. I think he's pretty cool. And that beard. Talk about beard gasm. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to uh, see some good matches, watch CM Punk, AJ Styles, yeah. and, uh, Samoa Joe, and Daniel Bryan. And I'm trying to think of what his name was. Not Antonio Cesario. What was um, his name back then? <sighs> uh, begins with C, like Caligula or something like that. 
Well, also um, Cole Cabana as well. If you watch a lot of yeah, Ring of Cole Honor. Cabana. He's fa- yeah. he's he's wrestling in Scotland right now. James, get along to the ICW match in Glasgow at the garage. Ben um, Wayne <laughs> Cole Cabana versus a guy called Grado. I'm, I, I I fucking hate wrestling. You know it's fake, don't you? Yeah, but what? It's, it's, it's <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? You mean it's fake? I was talking Jesus. to um to Stephen about this the other week. Actually, I used to um back in the day, I was actually training to be a wrestler. And when, <laughs> a pro wrestler or an Olympic wrestler? A pro and wrestler. Did you have to spring your hair and you had to sit out? A pro wrestler. No, uh, I met my wife and she doesn't like wrestling. Oh, that sucks. So you can still yeah, be a wrestler? Uh, so no, I, I've told her my son's going to grow up and become a uh, world champion. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I ever have a son, I was like, son, you're going to be the next Mick Foley. You're not going to be the new Chris Pass because he sucks. You're going to be the next Mick Foley. <laughs> I was going to say that. Um, like, I, I was kind of into wrestling as a kid and I kind of went off it. And then I ended up reading the Mick Foley, the, the biography role. Oh, uh, I... And it's brilliant. I mean, Man the top is really good. Um, actually, met him. He's, he's, he's a nice guy. Yeah, as you guys have a nice day. Yeah, as, yeah, as you guys know, I've been doing the wrestling blog for a few weeks, and I've been binge watching like every WWE documentary I could grab my hands on. And um, there's a, oh, I forgot what it's called now, but it's a Mick Foley one. It's about two and a half hours long. It's on the tubes. It's, it's not a, the Beyond the Mat one, is it? Or no, it's not Beyond the Mat. I've I, I've still got that on VHS. And uh, no, there's a newer one like come out in the last say like five years, and that one's really good. It basically. Um, explains his career through early days all the way up to WWE. Sadly, nothing about TNA, but basically he went into TNA, had a cup of coffee and left, didn't he? Oh. Yeah, th- th- there's yeah. um, there's a great... Um, there's a few guys who have joined TNA recently, Rockstar, Spud, and mm. the Blossom Twins. I don't know and what's going wrong with... Go on, carry on. There's, there's a... On Vice, there's a channel called... Uh, a YouTube channel called Vice... And they did a um, a documentary on a guy, a Scottish guy called Grado, and more specifically uh, the promotion ICW. Yeah. And if you get a chance, it's called the British Wrestler. Watch it; it's fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant, um, and it's just so cool. And uh, they're the guys. He's the guy who they're following. Grado. He's going to face Colt Cabana this weekend, and Rhino's going to be there. And they're they're getting big. They've got um, Scottish TV. In- and stuff like that now, so yeah, they're really, really. You can watch it all so free like on Scottish, YouTube. It's like the Scottish version of fucking ECW. I like it. I was going to say, Rhino is he off Gladiators? Not that one. <laughs> no, <laughs> folks. Hello. Hello. Even though they do, I'll have tell me. you what. Who was on Gladiators though? Right on the new Gladiator with Oblivion. Yeah, and he is now and he's one of the, um the main he's season now. Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't the modern day Gladiator. When he first joined TNA, and I'm watching, I'm thinking, I recognise that guy. Where do I recognise him from? I was like, oh, fucking gladiators. It's like, what the fuck? That was a transition. You'd be surprised how many people in gladiators are professional wrestlers. It was always a running joke that if you wanted to become a professional wrestler, the best way to make money on the side was to become a gladiator. (laughs) God. Yeah. Finally got you. Since you like wrestling so much, what do you think of, like, real fighting, like UFC and stuff? UFC, yeah, I, I... when it was popular about five years ago, I was watching it non-stop, and now it's all like, hey, here's Brock Lesnar again. Oh, he's going to punch someone so they fucking submit, and like, yeah, great, whatever, next. But so, it's real. so have any of you guys been watching the YouTube Geek Week so far? No. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, nope. That's it. Completely forget this whole thing ever happened. We're nothing to do with YouTube Geek Week. Well, no, that. The only thing in Geek Week... Yeah yeah, 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 that was fucking that was awesome. That was yes. awesome. That was on the channel of somebody who's in the chat right now. Hello. Who's taking a drink. Hello. 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 <laughs> we should have learned to hello. say more Ashen style things than just hello. <laughs> what else does he say? Oh, tat. Tat. Says, tat. 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 Thanks, lads. Mm. The, the Yogg's task, the obviously, they were on there. Oh, God. Oh, what's the thing of the blood? Oh, I can see perfectly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can see perfectly. It's not a lot of you play through or anything like that. Well, no, I think the only... What? Scott, I'm afraid the frame rate of your game is too bad, so we're going to switch over to something else. Hang on, eh? <laughs> if I care, it's, I'm still playing it. Ba- it's not too bad on the YouTube stream. Oh, that's good. Well, there is that. 
Who is this Stuart Ashen, then? <laughs> Somebody what? explain Stuart Ashen in a what? nutshell to Stu, who's cutting up his wires right now. He's, as we're speaking, assembling his new console. That's right. <laughs> oh, assemble. He's um, he's basically uh, a, a, it's gonna. He, he reviews. He's a, com tash. He's a comedian. Yeah, he's, he's a comedian. A com and in fairness, he's very, very good because he does that thing that he sounds like he's just making shit up on the fly, and he, he obviously hasn't. But he basically reviews really shitty things. He's one of those guys. That's, if you give him something good to review, it's okay. But if you give him something terrible, he's fucking amazing. And he tends to go to things the likes of Poundland and uh, in America there's Dollar Tree and all these places and people send him stuff and it's all the terrible, terrible budget crap that they sell there and he just takes it apart in a kind of very sarcastic way. He's English. Oh, he's very English. He's got oh, that. yeah. Um, he's a very British sense of humour, yes. Yeah, yeah he, he does really well, actually. His, yeah. um, I will check yeah. him out. He did get... something for TV3 as well. Or, sorry, uh, BBC3, rather, um, a while back. And he's he, yeah, he's really he's got a film out. He actually yeah, he just come out it. today. It's today, which means yeah. there's no fucking way he's watching this. So you know it's great. It's like and that's all domination at the start of this fucking stream. That's um, also the reason why nobody's watching this yeah, exactly. stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we can <laughs> say what we like. Back to the game show right now. I'm, I'm how many? Uh, just out of uh, curiosity, Harry, how many uh, viewers have we got at the moment? Ladies and gentlemen, we have eight <laughs> viewers. Bullshit. There's more fucking like people again. present in there is watching. <laughs> shall I, I just, say, is shall anyone I actually monitoring the stream? Because they don't count. So if all of us are monitoring the YouTube stream, there's actually... I'm not. Oh, I'm not. we've got a real viewer. Hey! <laughs> Hello, real viewer. Is anyone oh. checking the comments? Yeah, yeah. Cholo CPC and JL76Gaming. Yeah, oh, JL76Gaming mate... knows a guy from the ICW. I think I my mate Sean has gone ICW. now. <laughs> Allow me yeah. to break the ICW. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, Faulty can't call me out on being shit and that uh, Yak is awesome, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, go. come on, Faulty. <laughs> but it's true. Come on. It's true. No, it's not. I was watching my video thinking, I wish fucking Yak was doing this. Mr. Dublin that is... That was a bar, I really wish Yak was doing this. Look, let's put it in perspective. We all suck compared to half of it. It's true. Yes. Suck That's it up, suck it up. No! <laughs> Adult, how are you? How are you? Adult? I actually, I did. Um, I said to Stephen, one of the reasons why I joined was uh, Lawn Boy, James, and Half Bit because Half Bit's reviews are really, really good. Really good. Uh, excuse oh, me. Yeah. <clears throat> Your face is full of lies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's better than being full of your wife. Oh, oh, oh. Danny J's front end. Uh, Danny J's front end. <laughs> the RWO's in the house. That's how we do in Chicago, That's how we baby. Do, baby. <laughs> the Windy it's, City. It's very close to Arnold, that is. Yeah. Arnold. That's the way game chasing goes. Arnold. The yeah. Windy City. That's the way the cha game chasing go. <laughs> oh, he's, he's a million times better than me. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm out of a job now. Oh, I've had all game chase, man. It'll be so worth it. <laughs> what you mean? You want fifty dollars for little Samson? I picked it up for four at the fucking flea market. You asshole. That is not a dollar. You asshole. Want to play Impossible Mission? Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> I got stadium events at the flea market. Go on. Did, hey Arnold, did you get caught slipping? <laughs> <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Alright! Who's that playing fuck, cool spot? Okay. You can tell, after that fucking video came out of that alright kid, he got laid, I'm telling you. Because every time he was like, hey, give me that alright, and then straight on it. Too dark for this ice stream? Whatever. What? I don't care. I was trying to be funny, but you people weren't laughing, so fuck yeah. you, assholes. I'll carry on playing Blazing Lasers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wasn't listening. I had a dilemma, my car. Oh, no, what a surprise, Benway. Yeah, 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 whatever. Can't have I improved when it opened? It was a very important issue. <laughs> <laughs> does, uh, does Steve Benway call Iron Brew Juice? <laughs> 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 I'll have it on record. He calls it fizzy juice. Does he call it love juice? 
<laughs> and his purple. Well, what do you dress like? Doing? What do you dress like, dude? Love. I'm not surprised. Only when I'm making my music. You know, you, you should be careful because he might actually be watching this now. It's he probably is. I think Ben doesn't bother me. No, Steve. I wish I could pull off of Ben White. Seriously, I'm, being, no, I'm not being ironic at all, in fairness. I, I think that 90s look he had was fantastic, and if, you know, I'd love to be able to pull that off. Well, what, the comment he left in the when we uploaded the live stream, the retro unlame, is like, he just like, yeah, I don't care. This is like, <laughs> well, you know, hats off to you, sir. You know, I was like, fuck it, you know, it, I did it, so what? <laughs> You look stupid because you're not dressed like me. Now fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine him saying that. <laughs> that's totally Steve Benway. Yeah, yeah. It's like there's just no shame in this game, and that's that's pretty awesome. Other people were like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I've done that." But it's like, "Oh fuck it, I don't care." Harry, you got to get closer. Get closer. <laughs> He's playing Terminator <laughs> Sorry about again. That. Had to uh, let the cat out. You know what pussy's like. If you keep it trapped up too long, it runs off. I'm gonna take my hair off. Yeah, let I'm Jay out. Go. Oh no, yeah, let Billy out. Oh no, yeah, let the don go out and fucking Melville. Fucking oh, the don. Oh, oh my god, that looks scary. Fucking hell. Now you look like Dominic Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> what about I say he looks more like Stone Cold Steve Austin? Before he got there. <laughs> Dominic Diamond, I meant. Oh, he looks like um. Ah, oh, what's Double that? Diamond, what's that fucking comedian that's always on the vine? Ah, the lemons guy. Fuck, what's his name? Ooh. Fuck it, it's gone. Doesn't matter. I was gonna make an obscure reference. I forgot. Stop whining! <laughs> Stop whining! Stop whining! Stop whining! Stop whining! I put hair stuck oh. to my head. This is unnatural oh, and also do? unnerving. Oh, <laughs> it's like I'm a Simpson. Terminators, <laughs> they keep respawning. They do. You've got, got, got to run all. through. You've got to run through. You can't sit there because they just That's keep right, coming. Yeah. What are you playing? Take one guess. <laughs> sewer Shark. Where's Wally? Ooh, can we get some Shark Sewer Fu? Shark in this stream tonight? That would be good. Yeah, <laughs> Shark Fu. Can we have some Shark Fu? <laughs> or I'll eat my own shit. Does anybody own Shaq Fu here? <clears throat> uh, he yeah, a certain to, person. I might have a copy of it somewhere. He might have two I'm copies. I've got it coming in the post, apparently. Hey? I've got it coming to me. <laughs> you. <laughs> anyway. you actually bought Shaq Fu? <laughs> me, no. Somebody said okay. they were going to send it to me. Yeah, fucking me. <laughs> I'm going to sign it as well. I thought, I, <laughs> sign I thought it. Shaq Fu twice. It'll, it'll be a valuable collector's item in, nev, in no time. Did someone um, just I, say they bought Shaq Fu twice? Yeah, yeah. stopping up all the valuable Shaq Fu now. Well, well technically, you know, you know, all right, technically I bought it twice. The Shaq Fu market before it collapses. <laughs> <laughs> Shaq Fu bubble. That'll be five so, grand before you know it. See, that, so that, you were stupid I understand twice. now. Right, you big up Shaq Fu and say how great it is, and then you buy them all up, and eventually people are going, it must be good, and they're going to buy it on eBay, and you're the seller. You're Son selling them all. bitch. Look what my hair done to me. Steve Ben, <laughs> mate. I've done that for a while. <laughs> uh, any more hair jokes? Uh, yeah, sure was now you just need to take a clump of that hair, put it over your head sideways, and then you look like fucking Rousey Nesbitt. What the fuck? Wipeout! Somebody's surfing. Oh, oh is that oh, is that a real beard? Is that a real beard? No, he's gone. He was offended by that remark. Yeah, you know. <laughs> what can you do? I'm going to release Steve from the cupboard. <laughs> 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 he's telling Steve to put the yeah, he has to put the lotion on the skin or he gets the holes again. <laughs> <laughs> he puts the lotion on its skin or it gets the hose again. No! Oh, Fuck me, here's Ryu. <laughs> Bob Hogan! No, it's it's Repsy, isn't it? Oh here we go, here we go! All he's gotta do now is bite the head off a rat. <laughs> <Why>? 
I do not understand. Have you not seen it? In what? I've seen Nesbitt. Yeah, obviously. You can well, he buys, buys a toy around. Can I ask you a question? Is it true that it's subtitled in England? Say again. Is it got subtitles in England? Yes. Has it? Really? Oh, oh, I'm subtitled. They can't understand me with it, the subtitles, man. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Hold on a minute. Hackers. Hold on a minute. I'm just waiting for the subtitles to come off at the bottom so I can just reply to you. I can, I can laugh because I'm half Scottish. Which half? Oh, really? Yeah. There, there's a moose loose about this hoose. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, lads. I think Stuart's well, You better get your girlfriend back in, mate. No, no, seriously. <laughs> my my granddad made me because I grew up. Your in granddad London. made you. <laughs> but my granddad. Right, listen, come on, look, I have a chat there. Okay, I think that explains so much. much. My granddad so made much. me repeating that over and over again because he didn't like my southern accent because because they're all Scottish. My 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 dad's side. Hey, you so, should uh, have done the Dominic Diamond impressions then. Go on. I, I don't, no, I can't do a Scottish accent, can I? I'd look at more. Well, that, did, there, well, that didn't stop me, did it? Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Well, do at, it least gives a little bit, oh, wait, no, at least give us a bit of AVGN. Come on. Huh? Oh, yeah. This yeah. game is bullshit. Hang on, then. Let me go get one. It fucking sucks. It fucking blows. It fucking, it fucking fuck. <laughs> now what was it? Um, is AVG any good? I've never. I know this is. I've never. Oh, seen it's it. fucking so funny. Cine uh, massacre, years. isn't it? He's so, yeah. I can't believe it. I have to review this piece of shit. But <laughs> something's telling me it's not really that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this funny feeling. So, well, let's get it over with. Let's pop this sucker in. Take a shit on it. Alright, let's let's get it over with. Let's oh, show I you remember what, the scene. It was. Let's show you all how it all. <laughs> I got a pair of these as well. Picked them up in a pawn shop a couple days ago for two fucking pound fifty each. Awesome. Oh, porn shop. Yeah, I, I oh, yeah. like porn shop as well. Porn the shop. shop. Porn Where shop. I get my butt plugs. Porn shop. Do they sell them in porn shops? That'd be awesome. Yeah, and chow generators, yeah, as Steve Benway would say. <laughs> we have Steve Benway. No. Oh no, he's, he's gone. Benway's gone. No, it's uh, it's two UK crack generators. <laughs> oh, I, I, That's I, it, crack generators. Gas converters. No, crack converters. <laughs> All right, man. You're gonna keep saying it until it's funny. Crack converters. No. <laughs> Is that what you Inch, try, try again. Right. We're still waiting on the angry video game nerd to put his video game in his console. So please bear with us one second. So it's a slot on the top. Which Sorry. Castlevania are you playing? Uh, the GBA. Is it White Knight Concerto or the... There's a couple of them. They're, they're, I love them, the, the, the GBA ones. Yeah, it's Apparently one that I'm, I'm looking at. This is what I always do before I buy a GBA game. I always play it a little bit. So this is... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I just got it a second ago. What the fuck am I playing at? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Jesus wept. Uh, Circle of the Moon. Circle of the Moon. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, I'm shit at it. Because it's on 200% for some reason. Um... Am I alright to have a couple of minutes just to talk about something serious? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah. Take the floor. In um, the day before, um, we Sorry, have uh, free play this year in October on the Friday. I'm getting tattooed by eighty of the Sixteen Bit Brothers. Oh, and he's that's awesome. He, well, he's tattooed for free. He's tattooing Chuck Rock on my top left shoulder. Um, and we're doing it all for um, Asperger's, for the Asperger's syndrome, which I think you guys already did a little bit for. Um, the reason why we're doing it is because uh, a couple of months ago, my son was diagnosed with Asperger's. So uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be filming as much as possible of it and uh, getting people to try and donate. So this is the first announcement. We're going to be doing some stuff on it on the Two Fat Bastards tomorrow as well. 
But all the 16-bit brothers are going to be there. We're going to be trying to get as much as we can to there. The link is um, justgiving.com forward slash chuckrock. And the idea is that um, we're going to try and get as many gamers to donate as possible. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. Well, we've donated um, £50 towards the charity. Yeah, and that's yeah. between us. Watchers of last week's show might remember that we had the 90s video game dude on. He isn't with us tonight, unfortunately, but he drew a picture live on a <laughs> picture of Monkey Spaz. <laughs> yeah, a very realistic picture, which he placed on eBay. And by the time that the auction ended, the bidding had reached a massive... Drum roll, please. Come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, well, just go ahead and say it. <laughs> it was £10. So, thank you very much to the person who bid for yeah. that, who may or may not be in this stream tonight. Me. Do you know, it's, it is a big thing, because there's no... The, the, the guys who do that, they have a lot of information on there. And um, if any form of autism or any kind of mental health thing, there's just not enough education about it. My son... Um, we always knew that there was something there, something, um, and eventually now, a year after speaking to uh, Have we lost Chris? I think Chris might have dropped out at this person oh. point. Well, Hello. No. Oh, sorry, we, you dropped out just for a second there. Oh, sorry, I was just saying there's a lot of education that um, the Asperger's charity that we were just talking about provide to uh, lots of guys, so it, it's really important for people. To, uh, to take a look. Chris, why don't we step up a bit and get the tattoo on your butt? Well, my butt, but um, AD said that it's not malleable enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, show you my ass now if you if you want to disagree with him. No, but um, but he he was up for doing it, but he said it's it's just not going to work. So uh, as a result. Yeah, we're, we're unable to uh, do it on there, so we're going to do it on my back or something. Because originally I was going to have Fat Bastard in Chinese writing, but um, <laughs> for fairness, obvious reasons, we thought it was better those, to have... 80% of those Chinese ones, they go, what does this mean? It means strength or courage. It generally is Fat Bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looks, I'll tell you what, Sorry, it looks man. really good in Chinese, it's Fat Bastard. <laughs> but, it looks really um, good in any language. Yeah. But no... Uh, you mentioned in chat rock. Makes chat you think rock. it is. Can anyone see this on the screen? Yes. Here we go. You're you have the floor. <laughs> Put it on full screen. Put it on full screen. <laughs> yeah, grind it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, do it again, do it again. Yeah. Put it back Rock's on small screen. Part. It didn't work. <laughs> 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 Obviously, uh... <laughs> right, that's it. Half bit is oh, out of the call good. now. We've scared him off. Are you still here, half bit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, after all that. Oh man, that is like I said. Go, go and watch the uh, fucking half bit Chuck Rock video. It's the funniest fucking ten minutes of your life. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. That half one bit, scene. You reckon I, I look a bit like Chuck Rock? <laughs> you take the <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say I that. probably I probably look more like Chuck Rock than anyone else here. <laughs> As, uh, I don't know if people can see that there. Oh, I've got my screen share on. Of course they can't. There we are. So there's old uh, Mr. Rock himself. It looks Basically. nothing like you. What you mean with the the fat belly and the strange beard and the bad hair? No. You need to shave your hair some more and get a big well, chin. If you're going to audition, at least do Chuck Rock's attack. Chuck Rock what? Attack. Come on, you should know what it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. The belly. It's short range oh, attack. No. I'm not going to do that. Come on, man. <laughs> no one wants to see oh, that. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. My oh, eyes do yeah. nothing. You like that? You <laughs> love that, <laughs> don't you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> quick. Will you hit to do it? Yeah! 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 <laughs> Are you happy now? Yeah. Extremely so. Now. Well, there's your <laughs> exercise for the next five years. <laughs> You're damn right there. So, Halfbit, what have you been working on recently, videos-wise? 
Um, editing, I've been doing the um, still, sadly, um, the Make My Video series. Um, all the gaming footage, narration, all that's done, but I have... Um, uh, you, you guys ever seen Matrix Reloaded? Yeah. There was no sequel to The Matrix. There was only one film. They never made anything else. There was no sequel. Yeah. It never happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, if the, if the others don't match up, I do that too. They, they just don't exist. But the scene with the architect, um, I basically recreated it uh, with him and half bits. So I had to grow a beard uh, for the scene. And um, I'm, uh, the editing the background to try to match the multiple screens and to, to get it to look like it's interacting with the, the other two... Uh, um, you know, actors on screen, or I guess they're me, so never mind. I, I believe my own shit. Um, but yeah, it's it's just taking longer than I wanted it to be. I, I have a feeling it'll be out uh, Saturday or tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. To that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we both had the same thing to say Thank about you. that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but that's yeah. one of the reasons why I've got I've got to the point where I just give up trying to do any sort of production value because I see you know half bit I see you know other people do the same thing like the angry game nerd and all this stuff I'm like well what's the point of me trying I might as well just do what I do best do it all in one shot and then just throw it all together and hopefully someone will get a laugh out of it and when you say do what you do best do you mean Pippa Funnel games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this Pippa Funnel, okay? Like, that, that's a whole niche, that horse stuff. We're not dissing Pippa Funnel herself. It's the game, I think, that we're dissing here. Is that right, Scott? Yeah, the one on the DS. I was... Don't I was homegirl Pippa. Sorry, no, Pippa. a friend of mine just threw it out there one night. It's like, will not you review Pippa Funnel on the DS? I was like, what the fuck is that? And um, she gave me the DS car, because I had my 3DS at the time, and I put, put it in my fucking console, and I was like, what the fuck? Who? Not even girls would play this shite. It's so fucking bad. And that's what started me off, really. And then, you know, then a few months later, I'm reviewing a fucking hentai porn game, and then I went on to do a fucking <laughs> a so, review yeah. a softcore porn movie, fucking so Moon Raider, which Pippa got put like, down. It's the gateway to fucking tentacle porn, basically. <laughs> 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 and you were talking about Skyrim earlier on, because Skyrim, there's an awful lot of tentacle porn mods. Apparently, <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna have I, to. I, I saw one on a side once, and it made my excuses. Hey, there. Don't don't knock tentacle porn. You're on Chiquito, City of the Overlord, Legend <laughs> of the Overlord. Come on. Ah, uh, Fisherman's Wife. We, we've all watched it. It's a bit like saying that you don't watch Babe Station. Come on. We all know we've done it. <laughs> Come on. Just the first ten minutes. I'd rather have. Because that's the for the rest, don't you? I'd rather have my eyes open. As why say go with a cigarette jabbing into my fucking eyeball while mo- watching fucking meat spin, then fucking <laughs> watch that first. <laughs> well, thank you for that, James. Really Rock. Chav chicks kind of sitting there going, "Oh yeah, you can ring her some whatever." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we have a bunch of two, yeah. <laughs> oh, we already see. It's one of those. Like I said, I I've tapped into that sort of morbid curiosity, and when it comes to games, there's always that subsection of fucking weird ass shit. Most of the time, it's in Japan, and it really should fucking <laughs> stay in Japan. Japan's full of weird ass shit. But it's like when I started like reading up about it and looking at it, you know, I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" It's just like it's that sort of fucking um, that sort of like oh, I'm trying to fucking find the perfect analogy. It's basically just anything goes when it comes to these sort of games, and when you when you play them, it's like. That's, that's you, a rabbit hole you don't want to go down, man. Yeah, he's like, you, you start playing him and it's like, it's such a creepy fucking thing. It's just so weird. You, you, but, you, you know. Fairness, you, you, look, you see them and you start going, oh, Japan. What's wrong with you, Japan? Why the fuck are you watching this? <laughs> and after a while, I'm sure you start, it's like Stockholm Syndrome kicks in. You start synthesizing with the tentacles. They're doing this with the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> free tentacles, free tentacles. This, this, this is what happened to that guy from uh, the I can't think of his name, but the, the the bass player with the Who. What the fuck next? Am I gonna get the he horns of the Yeah, he was researching shit, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, right, bullshit. Yeah. I just say it, like you know. Worked for Jimmy Savile. No, oh, fucking this, here we go again. Not, right, hang on, here's the thing, right? Jimmy Savile was up to all that stuff, okay? Uh, fucking it, it, allegedly, possibly, I don't know. Ralph Harris is up to all that stuff. Every icon, from, oh, uh, every icon from the fucking 70s TV, it was obviously some dodgy perv. Fucking okay, Dusty Bin! They're gonna fucking haul Dusty Bin up next. <laughs> Guys, my child has been raped. My child has been fucking raped. Dusty Bin, he messed around with R2D2, didn't he? Oh, Jesus, that wouldn't surprise me at this stage. 
<laughs> Mr. Yaku, you play the guitar. The thing is, guys, like, you know, everyone slags off, everyone slags off Jimmy Savile, but he, he, he made a, he, he, from my mate, he basically, you know, he, he did, he Jim fixed it. Um, no, he wanted to meet, <laughs> he, <Jim> no, <laughs> he wanted to meet C three P O, and Real Jimmy, smooth. and in fairness, what they did for him instead was made him uh, blindfolded him, and he had to milk a cow. But like, it was, it was, <laughs> and it was never shown on television. But I mean, he fixed it for him anyway, so you know. I thought he, he got him to stroke the uh, that bald rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Instead of euphemism, he kept throwing up in his hands. Note to self: Stewart's is better. Kill Stewart, steal joke. Stuart, you're funny tonight. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just confused now. Uh, dirty. 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 Well, I'm looking forward now. Dirty. I finally got now. I finally got one chip bar on a PS2. Dirty I'm looking forward curtains. to doing it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing one Chamba review. I'm all in now. I've done most of the footage for the movie in the fucking game on the Xbox 360. And now I'm just going to go to the PS2 one, and so, I'm up, I'm good to go. I'm good to go then. Uh, uh, so what are you reviewing? Are you still there? Hmm? Maybe. Harry? It depends who's asking. <laughs> Put my stream up. I'm going to do a, a shack through completion. What do you want to? Yeah, yeah good luck with that. Anyway. <laughs> Did anybody want okay. to on the stream? Stu, you have the stream. Somebody yeah. speak to me or I'm going to cry. <laughs> Sorry? Right. Come on. Come on, monkey spans. Let's have uh, some uh, some highbrow topics. Come on, mate. You you pick a topic and we'll talk about it. Jesus. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're dressed like Jesus. Um, what we know the nicest is, uh, I ever had in my looks was apparently I looked like Tubby Jesus with my hair out. Tubby Jesus. Yeah. Tubby <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. But it was already taken on YouTube, so I couldn't use that. So, yeah. Tubby Jesus. <laughs> we got Metal Jesus I rocks know. now. Tubby Jesus. Fuck it out. I bet he uses head and shoulders. Sorry about, sorry about that noise. Then oh, my God, brain just fell out. If I had hair, I'd have to look like this. <laughs> Excuse me. Here's a. Uh, James, yeah. who's your no. favourite YouTuber? Me, pick me, pick me. No. Pick him. It's pick quite him. obviously. Uh, people are apart, aside from retro unlim people. Oh, tall. Um, oh. <laughs> Come back to me. Yeah. I'm gonna say half bit, even though he's a retro unlim person. Well, well done. Thank you. You've destroyed the topic already, Yak. <laughs> 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 Come on, James. I'm thinking, you fuck nugget. I said, come back. <laughs> In uh, LGR, lazy game reviews. Lazy game reviews, great, great choice. Uh, here we go. And Bob. Um, I got three. Uh, Go Ashens, because in fairness, Ashens is fucking awesome. I love yep. Ashens; he's fantastic. Uh, I can never pronounce him right, but EDT one one three eight, edit one one three eight. Yep. Couple of you know. Um, and there's a dude, Grub Gun. He's the most sarcastic. Hey, hey! Ah, uh, Grub Gun's fucking awesome. Boom! Oh, on the shelf. Love him, man. Grub I love his hat. He's got a new happy intro as well. It's just so fucking mellow. Yeah. Right. Uh, I like. Are you well, ready? Oh, oh, you have your nice answer. Thing. You have your answer. Go. I like, um, apart from Long Boys Post, because we have a little love fest. But, oh, um, Long Boys awesome as well, sorry. Elect is it Electric Adventures? Yeah. Yep. New Zealand Australian guy. Yep, okay. Cool. Yeah. Like console snob. Well. Oh, probably... sorry. Console snob as well. Sorry. <laughs> You're too kind. Oh. Um, probably my favourite YouTubers. Either well, it'll be Luke Morse one. I fucking love his channel. Uh, classic Game Room, and the third one differs between shitloads of them. But at the moment, probably Rooster Teeth again. I fucking love Red vs. Blue and Ruby especially. That's fucking badass right now. Stuart? Uh, Stuart, what about you? What, me? You, yeah, what's your favourite? <laughs> yeah, Ring Nut. I already said. It was... Uh, <laughs> it was Let's Get Retro. Obviously, Retro. Game Reviews and um, GameSack. Cool. Yeah, oh yeah, GameSack, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. Half awesome. it? Hey? Uh, mine's oh. probably a little more... Of uh, the obvious um, would be 
God, it depends on how I feel. I guess at the moment I probably would say, would have said Spoonie, Nostalgia Critic, or yeah. ABGN. Yeah. It, just because they dissect what they dissect. I mean, they just think of things that you don't... Not, AVGN doesn't really get it as much anymore, but Spoonie still no, does. No. And I wish that my brain worked that way, and it just doesn't. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up Spoonie, because I was going to ask you this question. Am I the only one who spotted the Spoonie reference in the Sewer Shark video? Or were there more than one? Oh no, I spotted it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about uh, yourself, Yak? Who else do you like? I like Collie, the inept reviewer. Oh, okay. Have any of you guys ever even heard of him? No. Nope. <laughs> really old school now. He's got a wife and kids, so he doesn't have time for the YouTubes, unfortunately. But I wish he'd come back. In fact, the whole of my channel is an adventure to try and turn in to him. <laughs> nice. Smooth MJ. Uh, Ashens, um, Angry Joel, oh, Laser yeah. Game Reviews, Larry Bundy Jr., Boogie2988, Boogie he's a big guy, must, everyone must have seen him on, on the, the internet, I know. Uh, yeah, that's about it, other than the, the usual, like James Rolfe from the Sound yeah. Critic. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, the give us free top picks is impossible because I yeah. can just yeah, yeah there's, most of the, there's loads. most of you guys you must have your your favourites, you know, yeah, the, the guys who are that bit more polished. Yeah, well, like I said, when it comes to all, you know influences, especially my like now becoming a console snob, my main influence, I think you probably can guess, would be the cinema snob. You know, Brad Jones is fucking hilarious. He's just so he's got. Well, he's not a British sense of humour because he's American, but he's got that American sarcasm that I find really fucking funny. And uh, Stephen? Probably um, Game Sack as well, and Ashens. Uh, okay. Yeah, Game Sack. you, you got to say about Game Sack. Sorry, I'm jumping in again. That's right. Game Sack's editing. They, they, the way they make that show is just flawless. So I don't think I've ever seen a dodgy shot other than, say, their first handful of, of videos. But the rest of them are just polished beyond all belief. It's, it's pretty amazing how much production value they put into the show. You know? I don't think polish is necessarily the number one determining factor on why I like a channel. No. It could be the worst... It could be the worst production values in the whole world. They could That's have just... why you like my videos. Yeah, it's because I'm my Exactly. <laughs> have you subscribed to me yet, by the way, you cunt? Of course I <laughs> have. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, I right. really like... And I'm surprised no one said it. 8-Bit Eric. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, old Joey Spector. He's, um, he really makes me laugh a lot. And, well, um, the problem is with a bit er Eric, and this always is a, I like him, don't get me wrong, but his videos are so short. It's like, you know, I could do, yeah, I could watch 20 minutes of him just reeling off on games that he hates or loves. But it's always like a two to three minute to four minute episode. Like, ah, oh, yeah. come on, man. The, the Give us more. And it, it could be to do with the fact that my, the way I do videos is fucking terrible, but. I found that people tend to like short videos. People, you know, if I see yeah. a half an hour video, I go, fucking yeah. great, that's my train journey in. Um, but at the same time, a lot of other people I go, it's like the TLDR of fucking videos. It's like half an hour. Well, that's a commitment. You know, five yeah. minutes, it'll bite. I, I try and keep around the 10 to 15 minute mark, um, especially with pickups, because people just get bored, man. Yeah. Just, there's too much, really. Um, I like, uh, as well, Pat the NES Punk. I was surprised yeah, I nobody oh, said yeah. that. Pat. I like Pat. I, by the way, sorry, uh, Woodland is a very interesting, you know, because uh, I've watched a lot of his videos, I mean, catch it up, but he's, he's a philosophy that basically, if you're doing a pickup video, you have to drink beer, and I like that. That is that's <laughs> fantastic. That's a very northern, a very northern sense of humour, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, well the, we're doing a stream tomorrow night, the two fat bastards. Hey, plug. Hey, what time is it? Plug it anymore, why don't you? <laughs> uh, what time is that? 9.30, tomorrow, British summertime, Woodland I'll 37 channel. So go and watch that, guys. I will. Sorry, by the way, can I say, when we're all recommended channels, Steve Benway. Uh, that, well, that guy over there, Jesus. But uh, if anyone's watching this, his videos are really good, and he's really knowledgeable. And uh, he was pulling off a really sexy look in the 90s. Check his videos out. They're really good. <laughs> I, I would have fucking killed for that look in the 90s, man. I'd say I, he, he was just pulling it in left, right, and centre. I really man. like his console reviews, but I don't like yeah. his gameplays. In fairness, I'm, I'm a terrible gamer, so I like his gameplay. because and Now, in fairness to him, he did say that well, at one time, look, if I'm not doing commentary, here's how I actually play games, and he's actually pretty good. Uh, but in fairness, he, he's very into the whole live recording of commentary. Yeah, it's shoot, shoot and play. 
Yeah, I no, mean, I, I, it's I, not I, that. It's I just I just up. don't enjoy watching his gameplays for some reason. Maybe it's just me, but I'd prefer to watch something which then has commentary over the top afterwards, like um, Pat the NES Punk or etc. I just is, but I understand the, the idea behind quick the, play and stuff, but it's just not me. You oh, lose the spontaneity. There's a question, guys. I mean, how do you do your? I mean, are you do you do live or do you record and then the gameplay and then commentate over it? If you ask me, I do a bit of the two. Lately, I've been doing more just in the spur of the moment, especially doing pickups videos. I've been trying to make him as entertaining as possible. But I, my problem is, I would probably work on a month for like my Womb Raider video took me <laughs> five weeks to do. Yeah. And for a YouTube video, that's way too much. And in the end, the video was meh at best. Yeah. So, you know, I think I've gone a little bit more well, on, you know, reaction than post-production. <laughs> hello. Hey, What's going on? Up? Say hello. Hello to the boy. Why aren't you in bed? No swearing, gentlemen. You're go live on the bed, internet. Little boy, go to bed. Nah, he's had enough. Bed, bed. <laughs> What's up? Why aren't you in bed? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to give him nightmares now. Did, did he just wake up? He looks so tired. Yeah, he's he's not having a good night. You oh. want a video on dinosaurs? Nightmares or something? All right, I've got to go and put his dinosaur video on. I'll be That's back nice. in a minute. That's good. I like dinosaurs. By the way, and I, I can't. I don't know if it was the live stream or not, but my daughter was on at the start. That's Kara, my daughter. Uh, yeah. So she says hello. She thinks I'm at work. Oh. This is this is a this is a conference call. That's what Marcus Marcus thinks this is this is Daddy's office. Yeah, but, I mean, how do you explain it otherwise? Well, I'm going to talk to people about games. See, this is sorry. This is why I know about people funnel because I'm trying to find the gate. Like my son, who is a year and a half old, is going to be a gamer. Like I have the arcade cab, and he's already playing with it. He plays with the PS1 controller. He plays just, with the fucking remote. Just okay. give him a copy of Street Fighter and do what I did and send him on his way, and he'll be yes. fine. Leave don't give him Pippa Funnel. Don't give him Pippa Funnel or no, any of no, that no, crap. No, no. Raise him right. Do it pro he's him playing properly. With, he's playing with my daughter's toys enough. He's not getting Pippa fucking Funnel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my right, daughter, right. even when he gave, the only game I've ever played my daughter is Disney Princess. Uh, it, it's some Disney Princess oh, PS2 oh. game. I've got that on the Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Oh, but, God. <laughs> well, can we have that on the stream? Can we get yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yay! Yay! Guys, guys, guys. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find the gateway drug. I mean, game. I mean, drug. I mean, for my daughter. <laughs> right? To get her into gaming. Because I don't think it's ever going to happen. My, my wife likes Gauntlet and Doom. Um, and that's the only two Angry games for her. Angry Sorry? Birds. Angry Birds. Well, oh, yeah, she likes Angry Birds. And she likes Angry Birds Star Wars. So there's hope for her. She's a geek like me. Oh, I do as well. Where, every time I hear the theme of Star Wars, when I boot that up, it's fucking geek out. Oh. Uh, I can't right, find it. Screw. I'm off. All right, mate. I was I was originally only going to be here till about half past nine yet. All right, mate. Oh, you can go if you wish. I am. Oh, but you you shall miss the delight that we have still to come. I wasn't asking your permission. I was simply informing. Before okay. you go to bed, kick you Steve in the gut. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, I'm going to kick your butt. <laughs> Tell him to put the lotion on the skin. Mate, if you wear that in bed, you are going to get laid, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes! Right. <laughs> in the front and the behind. <laughs> See you later, Cambrag. That's how Steve Benway likes it. <laughs> oh. That's how the Benway rolls. <laughs> this Benway. Bye bye, Ben Way. Anyway, See you later, guys. I'll watch the rest See you later, James. Good night, good sir. See you later. Bye. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Just, oh. um. Oh, man. That's uh, my little boy what? who has Asperger's, by the way, who came in. Um, yeah. One of his things that kids with Asperger's, they tend to focus on one thing. So if Nathan can't sleep, he watches dinosaur documentaries over and over and over and over and over. Mm. For a four year old boy, his favorite word is stagomizer. If you can tell me what it is without Googling, you win a cookie. Stagomizer. Thagomizer. Thagomizer. Yep. A thagomizer is the spike on a stegosaurus tail that it uses for defense. All right. Which I didn't know about until he told me. <laughs> <laughs> All I've got to say is what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool, man. Yeah. Well, speaking of uh, Spurges, Steve. 
what did you say was the are you for charity uh, kitty right now? Uh, Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds, and that's made up of the ten pounds that we had for the eBay bid. Yeah. And we've all chucked in as well. I chucked in ten pounds. Uh, did Woodlin put in ten pounds? I think he's going to do a separate. Oh, he's going to do a separate thing. Okay. But that is the. It's a combination of all our all our efforts up to this yeah. point, yeah. and it's only been going a week, so I think that's pretty good. Um, if anyone's watching this and come up with some sort of you know thing for us to do. For money within you know legal limits, right? Uh, please. I'm having my comment. skin changed forever. What more do you fucking want me to do? <laughs> Put the lotion on the skin, or you're gonna get the hose again. Right? Will you stop doing that? You're <laughs> creeping me the fuck out. <laughs> Ugh. Rough. <laughs> oh man, not again! Oh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, oh, God. God. Put it away. Someone's on the couch tonight. Oh my God, he's <laughs> naked. I thought I'd just tell you this shit's not coming off. <laughs> <laughs> if you, are you gonna have to go to work tomorrow like that? I'm tell you if I wake up in the morning, this shit's still here. I'm having a day off. <laughs> <laughs> just tell them it's glandular. It's. I just woke up and I had a beard. That's all you. Why you got all that shit on your face? What are you talking about? I'm fucking Steve Benway. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with I mean, it. Anyway, I'm going to try to scrub this shit off some more. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> fucking oh, right. right, so I think we should go to the comments because we've been neglecting them again, haven't we? Yeah, go Let's on. have a look. And also, actually, I should point out there's one left over from last week that we didn't answer. And I'm going to read that out now, as soon as I can get that up. I think it's regarding Call of Duty, if I remember correctly. Oh, the ghost God. dog thing. <laughs> yeah, that was it. What are our thoughts on Call of Duty, the ghost dog thing? I sum it up in one sound. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. I used to love Call of Duty. I'd fucking play it all the damn time, but it's just the same shit over and over again. And this next gen one is basically the same engine, just higher spec again. It Who is gives a shit? Of FPSs, in fairness. Well, no. Like I said, I'll give Call of Duty a lot of credit. The first person shooter genre was going to shit without the, the initial Call of Duty games. You know, there was a few games that were still popular, but nowhere on the stratosphere is Call of Duty. But then. They just drug, They just keep playing the same hand all the time, and it's just not going anywhere. It doesn't matter what setting it is in, it's the same old fucking game. And we need another shooter to come along and just wipe the floor of everyone, you know? But I play I play a lot of shooters. I play a lot of Team Fortress 2, I play a lot of Counter-Strike, I play a lot of Shoot Mania, and, but, you know, there's still those those little batch of players who play those other games, but, you know, they go fucking shitty because it's not Call of Duty, and that really is, gets the thing is, right, The thing I like about Call of Duty, okay, it's like it's, it does that thing the Counter Strike did years ago, okay. All the little whiny fucking twelve-year-olds that like fucking teabagging and shoot, you know, and all that kind of, you know, they all play it. So yeah. if you don't, it, it, it soaks them all up, and then you can go off and play something else safe in the knowledge that you know they're off playing Call of Fucking Duty. <laughs> All right, I mean, it's like Counter-Strike. It was the same thing. Like, you know, back in the day, Team Fortress. I used to love Team Fortress Classic because um, I'm old. D, D, D. D, D, D. What? Oh. Say something. <laughs> I, was I played Team Fortress. To oh, sorry. I'll continue ranting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Same I'm that. on a roll. <laughs> But Same yeah, now. I played Counter Strike. So, so but Modern War plus Modern Warfare is again a single player that e your character dies in every cutscene. <laughs> every time I fucking play, I'm playing as a guy. Oh, he's been shot in the head. Oh, it's, it's a so true. Strike. It just okay. Maybe it's not true, but it feels like it. No, it is true. That's what I'm saying. It is well, true. All it is now is a gun and wait for the OCD. It. That's it. <laughs> nah, I. Do you know Call of Duty stuff like that? I used to play Call of Duty two. On the PC, I think, um, an Allied Assault or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Um, yeah. Call of Duty Deluxe Edition. Hold on, let's uh, get that bad boy down, just so I can make sure I'm not talking out my ass. One shooter, I, one shooter I can always go back to is TF2, and old half bit is on the yeah. server which I was on last night. Hey, I like TF2. I mean, well, what do you play? What's your class? Kind of sales. I play Scout. Scout. Oh, what's up? Yeah. 
Yeah, probably the scout. I, I love playing heavy. In fairness, freaking unbelievable. Yes, I am heavy. <laughs> Half bit. What um? What do you play? What's your character? Uh, I play as soldier and engineer. So uh, yes. console snob probably hates me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's fine, man. It's okay. No man, I fuck, I, I don't I don't care what fucking uh, class I play. I used to play the spy when it first came out, and I just can't get used to it now. I it's impossible for me to play a spy. Uh, uh, have you guys ever played like the original Team Fortress or you know Team Fortress Classic yeah. or any of those? Yeah. I, I played yeah. it back when it was a Quake mod. You know, I, I'm sorry, that sounds really gamester hipsterish. You know, like you know, I played it back when it was a, a game a Quake mod, but you probably never heard of that. You know. But uh, no, I love it, and I, I love the uh, the videos they used to, the, the promotional videos to do for. They're fantastic. Um, I mean, everyone's seen them now, right? The yeah, you obviously, obviously have the yeah. uh, promotional Team Fortress Two videos. They are fucking fantastic. But, uh, hang on, he's back. He's back. You can still talk about him now. <laughs> but yeah. Halfbit's got a server as well, so I went on there. But the problem is, oh, my latency from the UK all the way to America sort of. Uh, it was cool, but it was <laughs> not as fast as I wanted it to be. Oh, I love that, man. Sign me up for that because that's an excuse for me being shit right there. You know, <laughs> that was that fucking lag, lag, lag. <laughs> Blame it on the lag. I was asleep drooling on the keyboard because I'm old. It was lag. Um. I was going to ask you guys something, but I've completely forgot. Actually, can I ask you guys something? Uh, Chuck Rock is an awesome game, but does it does it make the game slightly different? The fact that the the bad guy is called Gary Gritter does it put a different emphasis to the game? <laughs> it just puts a whole fucking different light on it. Especially now, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, at least they didn't call him Mike Leander. Ooh. You know what's weird is that in the beginning of the game, it makes such a big deal about him, like he's going to be the main boss, and when you get to the end, you just fight a dinosaur, and if you look closely at the end screen, you just see his feet hanging out, because the dinosaur fell on him. That's it. It's the only time you ever see him, other than the beginning. Favorite, um, for the best, in fairness. <laughs> favorite dinosaur type game? Like Chug Rock, anybody? Oh, uh, Home Improvement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Jurassic Park on the on the SNES. Good choice. How Probably about um, Joe Matt Caveman Ninja? I am. Yeah, that's funny. Have you guys Dino Rex? Have you seen Dino Rex? No. It, it makes. Uh, a... Oh, where you're a little T Rex guy and it's cartoony and you jump around. Yeah, it's a fighter. That's Battle based on a type it, fighter it, thing. It's fucking terrible. Well, like Primal Rage. Oh, no, no, it makes Primal Rage look like fucking Street Fighter 4. Right? <laughs> right, it is just terrible. But the only thing it's going for is it does that whole Ray Harryhausen kind of, uh, you know, like, uh, stop motion thing. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I that's think awesome. It, I think, yeah, but everything else is just terrible. It, it, it's like you, you're, you have two moves, and that's it. And then it's set in ancient times, and there's some sort of really bad story around it. But I can't, it, it's terrible. But set in like you know, uh, forty thousand BC, and then you have some. During halfway through the game, you have some ceremonial wine that makes you fall asleep and dream that you're in the future, and, and then it turns into a uh, fucking uh, rampage. You're basically just fucking taking out tanks and things, and then you're back to fighting on the door. It, it's garbage, basically. <laughs> I like it though. Yeah. Conv convoluted, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of now, drugs. Probably... Got it. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. When I find <laughs> my one thing of dinosaurs in games, probably my favourite nostalgic memory would be Dino Crisis. I fucking love that game. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, Dino Crisis is awesome. I need to go. I need to find that game again because after playing Resident Evil Two for the last week, I need to collect them all again because they were awesome. Man, you need a, a Dino Crisis? Did you say? How about what, like one of those two? Oh. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I'll take both of them. <laughs> One and two, bitches. Oh, that's awesome. Straight from the collection. Was I there go... another one? I'm pretty sure there was a Dino 3, wasn't there? I think it was um, not a PlayStation 1 game, though. No, I'm pretty sure it isn't. I think it's uh, either a PS2 or a GameCube game. So I need to find that. It was crap, wasn't it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I think it was. That's why we've not heard anything about it, really. Yeah, yeah, you hear about Dino Crisis 1 and 2, but you never yeah. hear about there Dino, is, Dino 3. You're, you're quite right, it was on the Xbox, Dino Crisis 3. Ah. Um, and the reception was mediocre at best. Sort of 5, 6 out of 10. 
if that. Eurogamer gave it 3 out of 10. Yeah, but so, what yeah. a fucking Eurogamer no. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? No! Take oh, the TV show, dinosaurs. Oh my god. Does anyone remember that thing? Hey, I watched that show with my yeah. boy. Good. Yeah, for the love of God, don't let him watch the last episode. It's the bleakest fucking thing ever. Is it? We <laughs> haven't got that long. The, the, the end is basically, uh, you can look it up, right, but the gist of it is um, Carl Sinclair, the main guy in it, uh, manages to cause a massive ecological collapse and it ends with them all sitting in their house watching the Ice Age come in to kill them all. I mean, that, and that's a kid's program. Wow. You know, so it's uh, like... Fuck. It is the bleakest fucking ending ever. You know, it was it was during the nineties when you know ecology. Well, ecology still is a big thing. Global war, global warming will probably kill us all. But it was you know it was a very hip thing to have it in your in your programs, and it just ends with them all dying pretty much. To be fair, my lived. son did laugh but, when the yeah. guy got eaten in Jurassic Park by the oh, T-Rex when he was sitting yeah. on the toilet. We all did though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but is that show on DVD then? Can you buy it on DVD? Uh, dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, I have the Region Two DVD. Um, I actually got in, and I have to. Is is, is a Stewart video game? Story, is he still here? Is he gone? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Um, I meant to say to you, the memorabilia thing that's around the corner from you in Birmingham. Um, I picked it up there, and I picked him up there as well. Uh, so uh, I'll send you a link to it because it, you, it's it's in your it's in your neighbourhood. You gotta check it out, man. It's good for games. Oh, I will. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's uh, it's on. Um, DVD, and I'm going to review it actually because we don't just do games in the retro one, then we do other yeah, shit. <laughs> yep, very cool. Like big track and whatnot. Um, I watched um, Monsters Inc. earlier actually, that was really good. Oh my, yeah, my daughter loves that. Uh, Monsters University, sorry, I should say, MU. Ah, uh, she hasn't seen that yet. Yeah, I'll see it. see it. Dodgy copy. Well, if you ask me about movies, I've been going back and watching a lot of movies, man. <laughs> No, the thing is, when it comes to nostalgic movies, I've been going back and watching a lot of the View Askew movies, like Clerks oh, and yeah, uh, yeah. Jane Silent Bob and all, you know. I've, I've just been oh, going back and have, just loving that have shit. Have you ever right? seen the, the, Kevin, the Kevin Smith uh, College Lectures? Yes. Yeah. They're fantastic. Uh, well, you know. does um, Smodcast, if anyone. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I love that. When, when I got my iPhone a few months ago, I've been listening to the podcast for years, like straight away podcast app, subscribe, subscribe, all the... It's all the Smogco podcasts. They're awesome. So just for talking about podcasts, can I do a very quick plug? Uh, the, the the arcade and retro, and I'll put a link in the, the channel if I can. There's a lot of Irish guys like me. They they do uh, an arcade and retro podcast, and it, it's really good. Sorry, just a quick plug. Oh, like Westlife of Gaming. Oh, Westlife. Podcast. Sorry, my brother was actually he was in the callbacks for the um, and he's as bad looking as I am, right? My brother was in the, the. I think he was like two two interviews away from being in Westlife, uh, but he's tiny. <laughs> he's, he's like five for five. Uh, so well, uh, most of them are as well. No, no, but they they, they look like fucking giants compared to him. He's, he works in radio now, so he's he like, didn't he's suck a, Louis he's a enough. Ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Scott, the shaft for that. Scott, what's the book that you yes, have Harry. there? What is I the book have... that you have in your hands presently? <laughs> Fifty Thousand Shades, Shades of Grey. Shades of Grey by Stuart Ashton. <laughs> can you read an excerpt from that for us? Or oh, is it I can. Be too... Explicit for this time. Right, let's let's pick a page. <laughs> That'll do. Sorry. Shades of grey. 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 Yes, he made a little bit of a fuck up here. He thought it was the book about fifty thousand examples of the term shades of grey. In fact, it's actually a sex novel. I'm uh, very I've heard fifty shades of grey. <laughs> fifty shades of grey. <laughs> Awesome. Like Fifty Shades of Chab. <laughs> well, I just love the uh, the back cover blurb here. Yeah. Romance, intrigue, domination, control, subversion, <laughs> clarity, epathy, release, euphoria. None of these words relate to the contents of this book in any way whatsoever. <laughs> so is that the Amazon bestseller then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, can I, um, can I read you guys some Fifty Shades of Chab? Go ahead. <laughs> You ready? Jesus Christ! As he approached with those pasty white arms hanging out of his gola vest, <laughs> his smile told me it was benefit day, and I knew my velour tracksuit would be hanging off the lampshade tonight. <laughs> it was Dwayne's birthday. I was preparing a specialty of Finder's crispy pancakes and spotted hot noodles. 
I would let him take me any way he wanted tonight. His favorite position was called the Dogs of War. They took me from behind and played Call of Duty at the same time. Our six-week anniversary was approaching. This would be my longest relationship without becoming pregnant. I thought of this as he lay on top of me making love. His skinny arms straddled my head like breadsticks either side of an orange. As I rubbed his whiter than white back, I imagined every mole I was spelling out Braille for I love you. As I stood in line at the job center thinking of reasons I couldn't work, a sweet smell drifted past my pig-like nostrils. It was a mixture of weed, B.O., and Lynx Africa. I turned around and there was Dwayne. Our eyes met and he was soon lifting me onto the wheelie bins behind by the Iceland. He had me. tied up his staffing to block the alleyway so he wouldn't be disturbed. There was a trance watching, but it just added to the mystery. I knew it was love and knife life would never be the same. My mum told me to leave Dwayne many times due to the violence, but I know he loved me as he always took his rings off before he hit me. He denied them. <laughs> You know, Chris, this, this is all alarmingly familiar. It's like a documentary of my life. <laughs> this, this is a good bit. You'll love this. Tonight, though, he was in a foul mood. I had fucked his tea up after failing to defrost his prawn ring I had nicked from farm boots. He picked up the power lead from my kid's mega drive and whipped it across my doughy ass. It stung, but I liked it. I shouted again, again, so he carried on. I thought my shell suit would rip into a million pieces. As I looked over my shoulder, I saw his Weetabix tooth smile. He even had a semion, which is rare as the crack normally played havoc with his erections. <laughs> I think that's enough now, Chris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's my. Uh, I'm gonna uh, go and kill myself now. That's my uh, literary piece to the master. That is there. fucking awesome. <laughs> that's only <laughs> chapter Megan. one. I've got another three chapters. No, no, oh, no. Ah. no. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> so to move things on quickly that from reading time, reading time with Chris. What's everybody's thoughts on the flashback remake? Very cool. Uh, There's a I remake. Have my Mega Drive. HD, isn't it? There's a remake. Yes, really? there is. coming soon. Uh, it looks really so, good, actually. It does look really um, good. Flashback, of course, based on Another World and followed up by Black something or other on the PlayStation. Is that to right? me, I always thought those games were technically very impressive, but not very good games. So, why? It's been re-rendered in 3D using the Unreal Engine, um, oh, right. so you'll still play it in 2D, so like 3D characters in a 2D setting, yeah, uh, and new voice acting, and you'll follow Comrade as same as before, and I think you can actually, you know, has, has anybody got the Halo Anniversary Edition Yeah, 360, where you can, chip, you, if you press certain buttons, you can go back to the original. Yeah, you press select. Like. Yeah, you can do that on flashback as well. Yeah, that's cool and all, but the, lately for me, the amount of nostalgic remakes is getting out of control, especially with the DuckTales. I don't hold any nostalgia for DuckTales because I was never brought up with an NES, but the amount of people like, oh my god, DuckTales, 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 is like, who gives a shit? All right, some of the music... People who had an NES. Well, yeah, but the moon level of DuckTales, the music was fucking spectacular, but... To me, it's like, why bother? You know, if you want to play DuckTales, you want to play the original, wouldn't you? Do, do, do you know why they're bothering? It's why? a very simple five-letter word. It's called money. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's all there is to it. But it, it does look, and I mean, I'm just, just looking at some HD stills now on Flashback, um, and they are just spectacularly good. I was playing it just the other day, and it was, um, yeah, it's still fantastic, still holds up. Uh, one might say a spiritual precursor to the Abe's Odyssey, Abe's Exodus games. All right, so it's got that sort of vibe to it. That's all right. Yeah, but you yeah, know, I... it's um, Prince of Persia type moves and stuff like that. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of uh, HG remakes, especially when it comes to nostalgic games. To me, the only one that I found was decent and I liked was it wasn't exactly a remake. It was the Double Impact of Final Fight in Magic Sword. I thought that was pretty cool. But I'd rather, if they're going to release 
games on Xbox Live Arcade or PSN keep it original. That's why I love the PlayStation when it's Neo Geo Station, because they keep the Neo Geo games as is. There's no bullshit, you know, and that's what I like about it. Yeah, but you you can get those as well. But I think it's it's a cool idea actually. You know, why not get a new generation of people into these classic games? And hey, if they like these games because of the gameplay, maybe they'll get into the retro scene. And that's got to be a good thing. More people enjoying what we love, right? Yeah, true. You know, you, you can buy a T-shirt at Tesco's now, uh, which says Retro Gamer on it. To me, that that's a good thing. Yeah, but there's got to be there's there's some people that you can see on YouTube that are definitely just doing it for like oh I'm I'm being this and that and the other and uh, it rubs me up the wrong way I don't know why. You sure you're not just a little bit uh, a Tony little bit wowed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> retro gamer, that's the shirt that I've got. Now fucking give me my shirt back. <laughs> do you like it? I do. I've got that today. Oh, I that also can't got... be mine. It's not in a double XL. <laughs> For anyone that's watching, it's available in. Uh, oh, the Atari one's awesome. The Retro Gamer is uh, six, six quid. Six quid in Tesco's are seven euros because they. No, they're not ripping us off as much now with the conversion rate. Well, uh, yeah, if you're oh, a Retro Gamer, buy it. That's because of your tax haven bollocks that you've oh, got. Oh, God, over. yeah. It's the only thing that's keeping <laughs> my country afloat, literally, right now. Now, uh, Chris. <laughs> Chris. That and Guinness. The yeah. other game was Fade to Black. It's just been posted in the comments. Fade to Black, thank ah, you very Fade much. Black, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a sequel. I actually Great enjoyed game. that on the PlayStation, yeah. I really you know, did like that game. Yeah, I always thought that Flashback and, and Another World were related, and they're two totally no, they're separate games, but everyone yeah. always thinks that they're, they're, you know, the same series. They're very similar. Well, is it... Um, I always thought that as well. Am I wrong in that, then? Yeah, oh, in fairness, everyone was. You're in good company. Uh, well, I mean, by everyone, I mean me, basically. You know. Yeah, well, I... I I thought they were related, but you know, yeah. years later you find out they're not. It's just one of those, you know, zeitgeist things. They're very similar games coming out at the same time, but nothing, you know, the, there's no, there was no cur- uh, collaboration between the two guys doing it. It was just, it was in the air, you know, rotoscoping that. You're effect. right, of course, because there was a, a um, successor to Another World, wasn't there? Called Heart of the Alien. Oh yeah, and it was that the one that took ages to come out. Oh no, that's the. Yeah. Uh, sorry, it's a different game. I'm thinking of the Heart of Darkness one. Um, yeah, no, it was. There was, yeah. But back on the subject of HD remakes, I'm like I said, I, they don't sit comfortable with me. But with nostalgic games, like say like Mega Man Nine and Ten, they released brand new Mega Man games, and I thought that's pretty cool because that's continuing the series. When you remake a game, you either got to do it with as much love as possible for the game that was held nostalgic, or you're gonna piss a lot of people off. Well, well, hang on. There's a question. If, if you know, if there was going to be a remake of a game, of this game series that you know was out there, what, what would it be? What would you like? I well, don't know if I would one. Here's one that did really well, and that was Sonic's had a lot of shit releases oh, over yeah. the years. After Sonic, well, Sonic Three, Sonic and Knuckles, I suppose. So all those 3D games were shit, and they re-released in a 2D version, Sonic Four on the PSN and Xbox yeah. Live, and they went back to the, the 2D platform setting. Um, and that did really well, but it was an original game, so it wasn't a remake as such. But I thought that they did that very well. Yeah, it, it went back to its roots and went back to what made Sonic games great. What, uh, yeah, another game, especially from Sonic, was Sonic Generations. I fucking love that game. I thought it was, you know, it it went to the newer order, audience who liked the... 3D Sonic games from the Dreamcast onwards, and it appealed to people who liked the 2D Sonic back in the day, and that was a pretty cool idea. They went for both audiences, and I think they did pretty well in that respect. Okay. Uh, There's a lot of Amiga remakes coming out, coming up soon from that company that bought all the Amiga rights. Well, of course, um, Flashback was an Amiga game originally. It was, yeah. And they've just remade Super Frog and Chaos Engine's coming up as well. Oh, oh. yeah, I heard about that. That's a, uh, that is a game I'm interested in because I love the Chaos Engine on a Mega Drive. So here's, I may have to take all the shit I just said back if that's a <laughs> piece of more. Here's one <laughs> reason why you should enjoy remakes more, by the way. Because if a remake comes out, then the price of the original retro title will go down, allowing you to buy oh, it yeah. cheaper. Really? Yeah, well, yeah, Earthbound's gone thing. down fifty dollars. A fine least. example of that is Radiant Silvergun on the Saturn. When that came out on Xbox 360, 
the what game the, itself was about a grand. Now you can pick it up for about ninety hundred quid. Oh, that's so yeah, that's, where, that's when there's a digital distribution version of the game, right? You know, so in other words, instead of it's like God have, for it's example, the Earthbound. that's when you could get it. You know, mm. Earthbound on the Wii U is basically just Earthbound on the Super Nintendo. They haven't fucked around with it at all. So it's the same sort of example. Yeah, it's the same sort of thing. But now the opposite would be like you know if a sequel like uh, rather than a HD remake, but you know something that says you know like a, a modern sequel or something comes out. Yeah, like Mega pushes, Man Nine and Ten. Yeah, it yeah. just pushes the price of the of the originals back up again. Well, yeah, the the Zelda games always do that, don't they? And the, the Zelda games Mario. are always pricey anyway. Yeah. Zelda, Zelda Zelda prices are ridiculous. I just picked up um, as uh, not Spirit Tracks um. The other DS one, uh, uh, Phantom Hourglass, the other day. Yeah. Very strange to play Zelda with a stylus. Like yeah, I didn't like the whole stylus. I didn't thing. get on with it either. I did not get on and with the that same game with at Metroid all. Prime. Um, I picked up uh, the uh, Metroid Prime Hunters, and I didn't like using the stylus for that. Gotta say. So just when you were saying about, I meant to say this there, but when you got the PC Engine, there's a the PC Engine's kind of version of Zelda was a Utopia. Yeah, Newtopia. And, and yeah. I loved that. I I played through them like this is years ago on a P on my PDA like a, an emulator, and I just love them. So I keep meaning to pick up a copy of that. Yeah, half bit. Did you cover that in your uh, Turbo Graphics review? I can't remember. Which game? Uh, Newtopia. Newtopia. Oh no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember who. Yeah, I remember. What, I've been watching a lot of Turbo videos lately, and uh, I couldn't remember if you covered it or not. I, I've seen a video. Of, it's basically yeah. It's basically Zelda and Ease, sort yeah. of like hybrid. But that's another game I didn't get into until playing a remake. So you know, me being a prick now, I'm going back on what I just <laughs> said. I just played Ease Chronicles, and it's got Ease Book One and Two, and I never played the Ease games at all until I watched recently. Um, Game Sacks, uh, you know, review of Ease, all the Ease games, and um, I've gone back and I've played the Chronicles, the, the updated HD remake, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and you know, I just like it because it's simple. You know, some RPGs are so you're fucking you're convoluted prick, now. More like a human thumb. What? <laughs> I said you're not a prick. You're more like a human thumb. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, come on, that was out of Ouch. order. That was out of order. Ouch. And Dominic's back. Hello. Hey, I'm Dominic, and I'm here to introduce a very special guest that we have. In just a minute, the Games Master is going to be here. It's uh, Pakai, isn't it? That, okay. that, might, that might involve a medium. Please don't say Cora. Dave Perry. Please don't say Dave Perry. Please don't say Dave Perry. <laughs> Not him. He's, he's no. A, he's, he's a tattoo artist now, isn't he? There you go, Chris. He could, you know, help you out. He's probably sucking dick from beer money right now. <laughs> <laughs> and we've lost our special guest. <laughs> oh, he, Here he is. Here. Have any of you got any questions for the Games Master? Yeah, what's the Contra code? <laughs> the, the Games Master wasn't Scottish, was he? Hello, I'm the Games Master. Sorry, it's not the Contra code, it's the Konami code. Do you reckon, do you reckon, you know, he actually knew what the fuck was going on? I mean, um, um, what's his head? Uh, the man who played Games Master, his name escapes me, because I have Alzheimer's. Uh, famous English uh, astrologer guy, astronomer rather. Uh, yeah, no, I know who you mean. Why the fuck are I'm like... Patrick yeah. something. Patrick! Was I was going to say Pat, uh, Patrick. Patrick Moore! Patrick Moore! Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> Do you think Patrick Moore knew what the fuck was going on? A little spotty guy, you know, little spotty kids are going to go, Games Master, a level three of Sonic, do you know how to get by Dr. Robotnik? And he's going, I didn't, I didn't win a fucking war for this. If you've watched some of the commentaries I've done with Harry, you could straight away, I call bullshit on it every single time. It's like, you ain't played this game, you're reading off a fucking script. Do you, I mean, do you think he sat down and went, hmm. What's wrong with that? I, I, I didn't see him sitting there and go, playing, you know, Prehistoric Isle in 1930. Going, I must make a note of all the of all the cheap points that could crop up in this. Somebody get Super Frog for me. Oh come on, do not speak ill of the dead. No, he's. Not, I, I like. I, well, I'm not speaking ill of the dead. <laughs> but I'm just saying, he, he may not have had a fucking clue what he was talking about. He might be just reading for a script, going, yes, in. <laughs> You know, I don't it think half it it too. I've got to go and lock up the chicken. I'll be right back. All right, mate. So, Games Master, what is your favourite fruit? 
he's thinking. What? What? What was that? Tomatoes? Has anybody got any other questions for the Games Master? Does he actually speak? Yeah. Uh. Yes, it's just that he is really low. So saying that, now that we got someone from Yankland, half bit, was there a nostalgic uh, TV show about gaming back in the day, or was it just we had to put up the horrible shit in, on these shows? No, we had the one that I always remember. Sadly, I can't remember the title though. It was a guy with this uh, sort of reddish blonde hair, and um, they would give tips and junk like that. And then at the end of every episode, which is my favorite part, uh, they had this slide, and he would pull like a lever, and a game, a brand new game, would pop down the the slide. And whoever wrote in, um, as far as the you know the letter they actually chose to read win the free game and I remember back then thinking oh man I wish I could win one but that was all I remember of it I'm pretty sure it was produced by Nintendo specifically ah uh, yeah there was a, I was going to say there was a lot of Nintendo propaganda like with the whole uh, Super Mario Brothers show oh fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Captain N Jesus yeah Captain N yeah I mean, was there, a, was there any Sega television? I mean, you know, or was it just all Nintendo all the time? You had two Sonic the Hedgehog shows, and I remember rightly they did have a Toe Jam and O short as well. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 it, might, it might be because me, you know, blazing up for the last fucking 20 years, I can't remember. But, yeah, I, I think it was... <laughs> Are you sure you didn't imagine that? I'm pretty sure they had a Toe Jam and O short as well between um, like Sonic shows because I remember waking up on the Saturday morning. You had two Sonic shows. You had the really good one, and you had that fucking schizophrenic one, yeah, which was just one. had yeah, just had no fucking like bounds of anything. It was just anything goes. Well, they had that real epic one with all the furries. <laughs> yeah, <it's been> <laughs> last bit furries. <laughs> lucky when I when I when I were a lad. The only, the only remotely, the only games, uh, the only games cartoon we had because we didn't even have that Packland one was Pole Position, which had nothing to do with what? the video. No, lamest a... TV show ever. Right, <laughs> it is it is based on Pole Position because they did mention Namco at the end in, in the credits. Right? Oh yeah, so, that ties it all together. <laughs> exactly, as opposed, to, you know, when you're playing the video game, it's you're going around the track. In this one, they were they were fighting in two different cars, uh, and they'd little furry animals with them, and it wouldn't. Nothing to do with the video game. To be fair, Iron Man also references Namco then. But oh. the Avengers does, but it's Namco because it made a spelling mistake. Gallagher. Or was, yeah. it, was Gallagher. it Gallagher or Galaxian? It was Gallagher, I think. This is proper gaming geek chat now. Yeah. You lost me, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I'm looking on eBay right now. I'm trying to find the Vectrex. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's a talking baby. <laughs> Chicken sorted. Hi, YouTube. Oh, did you get that from the Games Master then? No. Just trying to break through from the other side. Yeah. That baby is fucking creepy. I'm not putting the stream on that baby anymore. Because <laughs> that is going to scare... See, look, now we only have four viewers. Hello, Five YouTube. Minutes ago. Five Hello ago, YouTube, come the mummy. The mouth's not going to move. There we go. <laughs> it's going nuts. My oh. wife walked into the room just to see that. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, what must she Hello, think of us? Hello ladies, console snob here. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, are we really doing this, Stu? Seriously? Yeah. Are you fucking around with your iPhone or so, something? So, it, it looks... It looks like something that's lost a nightmare. Isn't that just yes, the bit of nightmare no, before a tree guard <laughs> comes on and says, I'm sorry, you've got to leave. <laughs> going back to Nightmare, actually, how many of you... I'm going to take that skull off. How many of you watched <laughs> the Nightmare revival earlier this week? Oh, yeah. That was that was good fun, yeah. It was awesome. Fucking Ashen sucked on it, though, didn't he? Oh. <laughs> he died in the most labour's way puzzle. <laughs> Died by Mario. <laughs> well, actually, apparently they were going to let him have an honourable draw, but then, unfortunately, Ashen's just missed his jump. <sighs> so, 
Stu, if you're watching this, and this is a different Stu than the alien Stu that we have here. Hey? I am an alien. Hello. Ah. I'm an alien from the other side. Where are you? Yeah, it should be here. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, alien. Do it. How are you? I'm an alien from the planet Arnold. <laughs> His wife has made him, you know, disconnect from the internet after seeing the console snap. Well, feed the trolls, is all I'm going to say. Feed the trolls. I, I can't help thinking that we didn't take full advantage of having such a big YouTube star on here. <sighs> nah, you just... Let us chuckle heads fucking shout at each other for fucking ah, hours. From, from one hey, hello. sensation to another. Here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, God, here we go. How <laughs> sober are you? Stu, get the drum roll out. Make yourself useful instead of putting oh my god. Up. Oh, my God. Oh, my no. God. The tits hey. are out. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings, motherfuckers. Right. What the hell are you all doing tonight? No. Waiting for you. Where have you been? Yeah, fuck me. Never mind me. Right. Uh, well, I solidarity, my friend. Solidarity. Solidarity. I will be saying... Oh, 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 shirts are off. This is quickly becoming oh, a Two oh, Fat Bastards oh, trademark, oh, isn't it? Yeah, here we go again. Are the old nipples out? Well, no, we'd like to welcome everyone to the Two Fat Bastards pre-show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> from my screen, where oh, you got all the little uh, going to uh, web before. How is that possible? On, on my screen, all the little webcams are below. I'm sandwiched between two fat bastards where shirts are right now. It's really fucking comfortable. You should, you should re feel really privileged, Scott. Yeah. yeah it's like a fat bastard sandwich. You know what? I'm we'll recording for prosperity. <sighs> I would, mate. This is this should go in your wank bank. <laughs> <laughs> I need something because I've not had too much tonight. Surprisingly, knowing me. What uh, have you got? What, are you, what are you drinking? Uh, just Foster's. Ah. Australian's uh, fine. This the Australian for piss. Yeah, oh, so well, then give us a wank. You know uh, Australians don't drink now, don't you? Oh they, God, yeah. They think it's oh, shit. <laughs> Australians think that shit. Barbecues either, do they? Right. I'm 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 going out with an Australian, and she thinks that's shit. It, it's very <laughs> <isn't> it? <laughs> <laughs> so it must be shit. It's down to where you're from in Australia. Like they're they're really fucking regional about their beer. You know, like uh, one you know the the Western Australia drink one kind of beer, and you know fucking Melbourne's another one. All this kind, you know. We'll, we'll go and buy. No drink fucking Foster's. People in Chorley <laughs> drink piss, don't they, Carl? Hey. I said, go and buy regions in the UK. People in Chorley drink piss water, don't they? You see, you're you're a bit rich, aren't you? Talking about people from where they're from when you live in a fucking cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how can you say that? Your fucking region is full of dinosaurs and fucking clubs. <laughs> <laughs> But we can all use a computer, unlike you, Carl. That is correct, actually. I am absolute dog shit with computers. Um, I'm like a four-year-old. You need to... Uh, what's he holding yeah. up there? You can't Shut even put a fucking, you can't even put a fucking you... intro in your bloody videos, for God's sake. Is that the Master System yeah. version? <laughs> it is the Master <laughs> yes. System oh, man, version. I love yes. the Master System. Uh, it's just such a, a fucking fantastic system. Sorry, I, I, I know you like Master Systems yourself, but... Oh, I do like Master System. But who, hang about, I, I've got a question. Who's the... Um, Fucker and who's a cat and this fucking weird and baby oh, shit. It's <laughs> it's a Are you stalker. Oh my word. Take that off, please. That is nightmare fuel right there. <laughs> <laughs> he can see into your soul, people. Who is it? Soul. Are you my mummy? It's Jimmy Savile back from the grave. <laughs> now then, now then. Now then, now then, now then. Uh, but who is that fucker? And who's, That's... who's Games Master? It's the most boring man on YouTube. I'm Patrick Moore, the game's oh, master. Patrick Moore, Patrick Moore, Patrick Moore in Russian. Come to my domain. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Hi Theo. Theo. Oh, so, I've got a question for me. Hello. Hello. When Chris said the most boring man on YouTube, I instantly knew that this was in 1979. Uh, no introduction was needed except for that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, people, honestly, mate, people use rain rain sounds and things like that, rain sounds in the forest, very nice. 
outside. I use you as my sleeping uh, music. It's beautiful. Stuart, what the mother of balls you got on? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I bet you're off. Oh god, the eyes! This. Oh, that was horrible! This is so weird. Oh, it's even worse! This is the creepier of the Retro One Limb livecast. Preview? Ladies and gentlemen, if you've seen the baby, you have seven days to live. <laughs> Use the wisely. He's, he's, he's calming for you. He's not saying notes, is he? He's not saying notes. You can be he's told. You can call me a bastard, whatever you like. Come. I don't mind. <laughs> I can take it. Give it to me. Give it. You're a shit Whatever game. you like. But I am. <laughs> I, I was playing. What I was the today, fuck? I, I was playing Castle of Illusion today on Mega Drive, right? Not a master and I got system. To, I got to oh, on Mega Drive. I got to the the boss where it was like a fucking clone, and he gets his arms and then his legs. It's like a process that comes down, and he gets his arms, and his legs, and I could not fucking do him. And he chucks out uh, springs. Do you know what I'm talking about here? You're all supposed to be fucking retro gamers, you bastards. And uh, he was he was picking out fucking springs and shit that you jump onto and then you jump onto his head. I couldn't do him. I know. I couldn't do him. Sorry, I hit my toys for that baby. He's got the baby doing. He's got question marks above his head. He the might not be fucking dad and his mummies. That's what the I think. The baby's thumbnail has been removed now, so guys, you can continue watching again. <laughs> <laughs> I can still see watching the you're not, you're not subject to the fucking satanic baby we see right now. It's just fucking creepy. I'm, uh, I cannot unwatch it. It's I'm gonna click up. on Carl instead. I think yeah, I'll, I'll, Carl. Carl. I'll tell you what. I'm watching this baby with all little icons and little fucking shit that's going on. I quite like it. Uh, <laughs> I'm clicking on somebody else now. I'm clicking on the console now. Holy shit! Please <laughs> stop trolling the stream. Yeah, he's head on fire. Who's on thin here? I know him. I can't remember his name. Who's on thin? Well, Ed on telly. Me, Steve. Oh, even. Or is it Supreme Overlord? No, 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 no. On the very end here. Steve, I must say that Which very end? <laughs> your avatar looks a little bit like Rick Henderson. Fucking <laughs> 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 Gavin Henson. Gavin Henson, the rugby player. <laughs> Don't know why I just felt like saying um, it. Carl, you mean is the game? It's uh, that's Harry Yak doing. Um, what do you call it? The game games master. master. The games master. Yeah, I, I gathered that. I gathered that. It's is Harry he dead? We, we couldn't afford games for us. Yeah, he is. Uh, he died dead last year. He's, he's dead, isn't he? We have mailed him, though. Have you? Did you get a response? No, and quite frankly, I'd be worried if we did. You know, <laughs> death thing. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. The bastard didn't even have the fucking, uh, you know, notes to attend on his, when we've got his fucking avatar here, bastard. What <laughs> a bastard. Bastard. Oh, I've got a tweet. I've got a tweet. Hold oh, no. on. Games Master, why can't you attend Retro and Name Live? Because That's I am exactly dead. what it says. Have you sent it? You puny model. <laughs> what? Have you any gaming questions for me? Yeah, yeah, what is the Konami code, you prick? You should know that. It's <laughs> Z, W, up, down. You're just reading from a script, aren't you? You're not a real games man. You're not a real yeah. gamer at all, Patrick Moore. <laughs> oh dear, hold on. You just want to be looking into a telescope. It's the been rumbled. Oh dear. <laughs> now he's German. <laughs> he's oh, a good yeah. guy. I'm a German. <laughs> it's been lies all along. Who <laughs> 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 came first through Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> You know, I've been typecast now, haven't I? Is Mr. Yak, have you ever started doing the Narnia impression and realised, you know, the quote you're doing is actually, you know, Rainier Wolfcastle from The Simpsons? Or is that just something that happens to me? You know, it's called yeah. Narnia, and all of a sudden you're going, yeah. goes, ah. Well, I start doing the Arnold impression, and it turns it turns into a blooming Dominic Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cunt, isn't he? 
I remember. <laughs> which which card is that? Is that oh, a Dominic Diamond? Yeah, I, no, forget Dominic Diamond on the Gates Master. I remember watching him on something. It was like a pop culture show mm. late at night for teens. What was yes. it called on Channel 4? I think I know what you're speaking of. Babe Station. Electric <laughs> Blue. No, you bloody idiot. The Word. Yeah, I the know word. what you're talking that about here. I said that earlier, Irish accent obviously didn't understand me. No I, I need subtitles. You what? I, I said I need subtitles, didn't it? <laughs> Stu, you've gone incredibly loud. Please keep the voice down. Eh? Am I, am I very loud? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I can't hear you about how loud you are. <laughs> <laughs> am I very, very so, loud? So, what were you saying there about the, um, Dominic Diamond there, uh, Carl? Well, first of all, one is a cunt. And second of all, he made his name on the... I, I preferred him on the word, rather than talking about Hang video on. games. Is that not Terry Christian you're thinking of? It yes, is. that's the yeah. Mancunian bloke who I was thinking of earlier. I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> Terry is he, Christian? Is he still on telly? Do, do, do you, is he still on UK telly? Terry Christian? Yes. Yeah. He's on oh, radio. Later. He? Later. Later. He's got a face for radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a twat as well. Smooth. Smurf. Why why is the uh, why is snob? Why have you got a camera in your fucking left hand side of your your, your picture? He's still oh, I'm, you. I'm laying him? back. Just laying I'm gonna click on back. That. Oh Jesus. <laughs> what? It's technology these days is fucking unreal. Well I mean, technology. To a simple oh, guy like you, Carl it is. Speaking of Honestly, technology. I've been, I've, hang on, I've, I meant to ask you, did you get the, the, the Hori stick, or are you, your, um, the joystick you got, the, uh, sorry, I'm a bit out of date with some of your videos, did you ever get it work on the Neo Geo emulator, your uh, your arcade stick? Oh, for the uh, Neo Geo emulator that I have? Yeah. Well, that's a good question, and thank you for watching it. You I do. Um, <laughs> I was myself afterwards as well, so. Yeah, no, somebody gave me uh, a tip, actually, to do something with that. That was um, me. What, yeah, well, I don't have the emulator that warrants your tip. I'll, I'll, I'll mail you the link. What, Fire Burn, uh, Fire Burn Alpha? No, it was... Um, if it, if, no, sorry, no, 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 Chuck Rock. It was we're, the... We're on Neo Geo, not fucking Atari, but you're playing the game. We're on, we're on the Neo Geo now. But no, it, I've, I've, what it is, I downloaded an emulator that I have to... It's over 6 gig, right? This, right, this will make sense now, right? I don't have emulators installed on my PC. Okay. I have it. Um, I have this six thousand six hundred and sixty-six. It's all the sixes, uh, ROMs, games, whatever. And I load it via something called what's that thing? Uh, Daemon Tools. Daemon Tools. Oh yeah, so you're, you're mounting an image. I'm mounting an image, so I'm <laughs> tied. To the you're emulator. listening to the Hacking Goer on the Retro <laughs> on the Livecast. Yeah, yeah, bollocks to it. <laughs> bollocks to it, yeah, giving tips. This is what you do, people. You want to pirate games, I'm your man. I'm just going to ruin the fucking match. Pirate <laughs> game! <laughs> Shut Rockies, though. <laughs> um, there's a thing in here, uh, Joy2K, and I'll send you the link, and I'll, I'll yeah, because it's, it's probably too geeky for this stream, because I'll just be me and you talking about drivers for half an hour until we all get shit faced and just. Yeah, so I'm use it, everybody. I'll send you a link. I'll get you working. I'll get you working with the new Geo games. Yeah, if you can, if you can, because like I say, I'm I'm tied to what I'm using. Oh, no, this... no. But this will this will sit on top of that. Your your computer will see you moving your joystick, and it'll think you're using the keyboard. Way what joystick are we talking about here? Um, this is the 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 flight of the um the Hori FS3 Mini joystick you, you got. You, you know the, the joystick, the little arcade stick you couldn't get working. With? Oh look at the Are you blue jumper? Am I am I out of date? Yeah, no, I, no, no. You're right. Yeah, that that would help me to no to no end because I can't play Neo Geo with that stick. In fact, I've got it here. Have a look. Have a look at your link. Here it is. Have a look at the link of your channel. And sorry, to ap apologies to everybody else in the entire universe. Other than no, you fucking should be. I'm trying Stop to listen here. And, and, and look, look, look at Chris. He's a pirate. I'm trying to download these wares. Yeah. You fuckers are sitting there talking about all that. I'm trying to plunder some booty. Unfortunately, Carl's missus, she's already gone, so I can't do that anymore. No, she's going tomorrow morning. Going tomorrow. Free all weekend. Free all weekend. <laughs> oh, 
And I've also got, because I'm free all weekend, I'm going out and uh, got a little... Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, what do you keep? Well, what do you Pickens. keep in that? That's that's hey. where his wife keeps his balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hey! My eyes. Come on! They do nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. you can't see this right <laughs> now. That is over. Please don't. Yeah, but Carl Watson is not wearing his pants properly. Hence, He's we saw his. Buttocks when he went to the fridge. Oh, 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 I'm wearing it properly. I'm keeping it gangster. That's what they do in the hood. And that's what I'm doing. What? Arse cracks? Yes. Is that a gang thing though? Arse cracks? Yes. Should Chorley it's... Town Council charge £5 an hour for somebody to park their bike in there? <laughs> well, it's yeah, just cost me a tenner. That's why. <laughs> Have you not Penny finished farming. the Is it not finished? I only come up for a quick hello. Oh! Hello! 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 Hello. 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 The one Ashen's voice I could do is hello! Hello! Hey! Uh, hello. Hey! Just, hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! You were talking, you're talking about Neo all. Geo. Oh! oh all of you. What's that? That's my oh. Neo Geo one you, slot arcade board. Alright. Are you sure it isn't a toaster? <laughs> yeah, so. That's my Neo Geo. That's a proper yeah. Neo Geo Arcade MVS, yeah. What's your address again? MVS or AES? MVS. The oh, arcade. Okay. And I've you're... also got a multi-cart as well. You, you don't have that new abomination that was released recently. Well, Neo Geo X, fuck no. Yeah. That emulated piece of shite. Yeah. Now, can I just say something on that? Very quickly, it is a piece of shit. However, there's it's been... No, however. No, there's been an update for the software, and now it plays perfectly. Yeah, but you're going to fucking pay for it. Yeah, but you're paying for a, a, you know, a, a, a Neo Geo on a chip. And here is the... Inside of it. And that's the Neo Geo Pro Controller. You're paying for it? What, what do you mean you're paying for it? I'll tell you what, I, I, you're paying for it. I've never heard anything so preposterous yeah, in you, all my... I hope we don't you have gotta to pay buy, for you got to buy one of the, you gotta buy one of the new game, game packs. <laughs> You gotta buy one of the new game packs in order to get the firmware update. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, That's I why I'm not buying one. Oh. Anyway, I just wanted to say hello, Malk. Hello. Hello. It's the Carl. Hello. hello. You it's know the uh, Neo Geo X? Yeah, just been talking about it, but. Yeah, you know it's just um, a console with an um, SD card. Fixed to it in the inside with the uh, <laughs> Final Burn emulator on it. Yeah, is so that it is. Final Burn? Yeah, yeah it's, it's just Final an emulator Burn. on an oh. SD card where it's been um, fused into the system. But you, can't, uh, you can't add anything to it, though, can you? You, can't you can have an update not. to the emulator. But if that's you want to play Neo Geo without the, all the jazz and that, but you want to play it on the go, PSP. That's the best way to go because it I've has the best emulator. Yeah, I've heard this. I don't have a PSP, and I wouldn't know how to put ROMs on it. Well, I've already got the. I've already got a copy of the fuck. Already got the right, copy God, of the no, SNK. I've got a copy of the SNK collection on here. Hang on. Indeed. Okay, who's messing around with stuff? Oh, I'm gonna look, look at this and say it's probably retro gamer 1979. Hey, who's over there? You're the one who's <laughs> showcasing every every special effect that Google Hangouts can do. This is the most interesting thing you've ever fucking done that I've seen. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is your thing. That's the SNK collection. It's to stay quiet and do these little anime things that you're doing. That's the best. <laughs> just stay quiet. That's the most sensible thing you can ever be for this key stream. It's silent, but um, with these couple of little things coming on, it's brilliant. <laughs> Window starting up. <laughs> Love it. 
So how know. was um how was the Game Shed live stream? I loved it. I was watching it. Um, <laughs> I'll support those fellas. Um, I was uh, I was um, I was watching the them More playing the California shows, games. Uh, yeah, brilliant show. Jimmy and Mer, superb. They're a lot better guys. than this shit. A lot better than this shit. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> um but uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, what's he got here? This is the SNK collection on the PSP. So you got games like Metal Slug, <laughs> Neo Turf <laughs> Masters, Samurai oh, Showdown. That was Neo Turf Masters. That was, uh, yeah, Neo. I fucking love that game. It's probably my I favorite Neo Geo game right there. The yeah, it's an awesome game. The, the German is the best. On the green! Yeah. <clears throat> and all that funky shit. So, yes, yeah, long ago, this was a gaming show. Oh, he's not happy. Harry, he's not happy. He's had enough. He's Ladies, had and enough. Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm never happy. I'm putting my foot down right now and bringing this back to video games. I'm going to play yeah. some Bomber Man. Yes, thank you. Drummer who follows me around everywhere. It's, <laughs> it's a real it's problem. Man. Don't worry, folks. I'll fix all this in post production. Yeah. The version you see on YouTube are missing this. It'll be about 20 minutes long. Post production. <laughs> You're having a laugh, mate. You're having a giraffe. Is he having a laugh? He's having a giraffe. Has <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, he got the crickets on right yeah. in that fucking webcam? Hey, that's not me. No, <laughs> no Carl's moving his fucking webcam and all you hear is crickets fucking <laughs> shaking around in there. I can't see myself, so I don't know if I'm in frame or what. I don't know what you can see. I can't see myself. Why can't you see yourself? <laughs> I can't see um, myself either. Can't see myself. Harry Yak. Look in a mirror. Have got a webcam? No. Well, Why I not? do, but it's terrible. Well, that's alright. It can't look much worse than Carl. No, that's that is it. Ah, so we now know. We know how <laughs> he's doing that. Harry, there's two. There's two reasons why you're not on camera. Because I've never seen yes. you on camera. Okay. One of them is because you two are sharing to be I'm on a, camera. That's but right. I'm a wuss. The second reason is that you are actually the person from the fucking Goonies that says I like chocolate. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> the, is that? Is that the you guys? Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> no, not Arnold Schwarzenegger. No. no. Yeah, no, uh, I can tell you, I can tell you guys. I've been called many things, but I've never been called that bloke off the Goonies. <laughs> Slot. That says I like chocolate. That says I like chocolate, and I do oh, like chocolate. So. Well, maybe you should check him out, because that's the only reason why you're not on camera. That's the only other reason why you're not on camera. Oh, he's and not, he's a mystery, he's an enigma. He doesn't appear. He, he, he's like Charlie from Charlie's Angels. He's just a voice. He's got that yak. Yeah. Like her indoors. Yeah, he's her indoors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's a barnyard animal. Excuse me. And the game's can I, animal. Can I just ask something? What the guy in the end here? I like him. What's your name? Bob. 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 No, no, the guy in the end. Yeah. Uh, Bob. Irish guy. The funny Bob. Irish. Uh, Bob. Hello. Bob. 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 Hello. I do like you. Uh, you're a funny guy. I like right. you. Woodland, you've got to subscribe to my fucking channel, okay? Let's get retro. People. Yeah. Just give me um, give me a, a message or something like that because I will be. Yeah, uh, is that, yeah. Let's get retro. I don't think I'm subscribed to you. That's it's no, it's, 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 uh, we, uh, you, YouTube, YouTube com, slash Lewis slash Dublin, L U A S D U B L A N. So, folks, if you don't absolutely hate what I'm doing, subscribe and show me that you're out there. No, I do, I do, yeah. but I, I want to be quiet because Harrod's on a bit of a fucking rant here. Yeah. He's having a good morning. Chocolate. So I, wanna, I need chocolate. I give, yeah, I want to give him his time, uh, you know, so carry on, Harry. I need, my, I need my personal space and time. Oh, I am. <laughs> Get away from me. I'm subscribed. I'm going to kick you off from the channel. I subscribed um, last week. I have a question from Alc. Smooth MJ. Uh, yep. Are you ever played Ready to Rumble uh, Boxing 2, which I, features Michael Jackson? Yes, I've heard of it. Yeah. Yes, on the N64. <laughs> yep. Well, it's yeah. A, yeah, the Dreamcast. On the Dreamcast, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, they did have it. I've got Ready to Rumble on my PS1. Um, I think it's the first one. 
I mean, the thing about yeah, Michael Jackson is that he was a huge gamer. He had a massive arcade collection. Yeah, he was a big Sega fan, I think. We've, we've all heard about the games that he likes to play, all right? Well, that's right. there. It's not going, yeah. Well, hang about it, hang about it. I don't want to find it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fucking whoa! Here we go. I don't Fucking like whoa! Oh, he's on a rant now. Yeah, I think those jokes are a little bit... Yeah, because Michael Jackson, we all have a laugh about Michael Jackson. Ha, 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 whatever. But nothing was ever fucking proven um, that was bad. That's right. It, 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 Except it, his it, album. Right. Said, yeah, well, <laughs> that's not bad. Album, yeah, yeah. So ah. I'm going to get this in the bud right now because it there's a lot of jokes about him yeah. being a failure, this kind of thing. It's bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, he wasn't proven as a smooth criminal. <laughs> Yes, guys, we're setting the record straight to that. Yeah. It didn't matter if you Nothing was ever proven, but let's face it, you wouldn't let him babysit, would you? Yeah. <laughs> and it didn't, <laughs> and it didn't matter if you were black or white. Yeah, do you know what I would? I would. You're more of a fucking paedo- paedophilia than what he is. Oh, yeah. you know what? You know what? Whoa. Whoa. Mr. Carroll, let's fight the top right here. Yeah. You know, Michael Jackson, he didn't have a colour TV licence because he didn't mind if it was black or white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All these are very oh, funny. God. All these are yeah. very, very funny. But I think I should not say anything. The only, the only thing, I, the only thing I didn't like about Michael Jackson is um, this one of his song. Is it no? It's not Earth song. It's a uh, man. It's a man in the mirror. It does a thing. Called, there's a musical thing called the truck driver's gear change, and you can Google this, right? It's where you keep putting your song more into a into a higher key and more up tempo. Yes. To, to make it more dramatic. And it's yeah. the worst example. I mean, he's a great singer. I mean, he was a great singer, and he was a great showman. And, you yeah. know, he was, a, he, just, he was his own special personality. But he's the, the best the showman. He's the best showman. Well, yeah. Elvis. I still reckon Elvis. I mean, Who you know, Elvis. Like, no, I don't, think, I don't think Elvis. Hey, Elvis is Jacko. Michael Jackson. Jackson's Michael better Jackson. than Elvis. Elvis was a paedophile, wasn't he? Yeah, well, it's... Operation Utery. We should say allegedly on everything that we ever say like this, but no, there was rumours. No, he... he in, like wrestling with... If yeah. Nowadays, he would be considered a uh, statutory rape. Yeah, probably. Who? Because um, he, he married... It was... Uh, Priscilla. Priscilla, yeah. And she was 15, 14 no, at Leslie. the time. <laughs> Leslie Presley? <What? laughs> Fucking Leslie. Oh, I derailed a conversation there. Nice try. Well, just yeah. it worked. Yes, I, <laughs> I am the master yeah. of this. I got to say thanks to Carl for defending Michael Jackson because he said he would and he did. No, I like Michael Jackson. Fair enough. I think I, I, I don't know about all that other stuff, but uh, I think musically he was amazing, and he has an awful. And that's lot. It, that's and it. Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. It, it was the first. It, it was the first album you I ever bought. It was fantastic, and that's all you need to know yeah. about Michael Jackson. That is it. And as, in fairness, as retro gamers, you had a better fucking retro gaming collection than any of us. Yeah, 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 okay yeah. Now. that is true. I would have liked to have had him on this stream. It would have been a fantastic addition. Hang on, listen, if we can get Games Master, we can get MJ. I'm just saying, I'll, try and I'll, space death you know, has no meaning you know, in retro you, and live. You know, I'll call his agent and try and book him on for next week. How about that, guys? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is a promise you can take to the bank. If Mr. Yes. Said it, it's going to happen. Yes. It came from the mouth of the yak. Mm-hmm. The chocolate man from the Goonies. <laughs> chocolate man. I like. Do all about your boy. white lion, bro. You guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We said that, man. We said that. <laughs> He's, uh... I'm surprised Carl got that one. And uh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Here's a good football joke for you, Carl, with Michael Jackson in it. Uh, what's the difference between Michael Jackson and Alex Ferguson? I don't know. What is the difference between Michael Jackson and Alex Ferguson? What's the joke? I mean, it's not funny. Alex Ferguson will still be playing gigs next year. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on. That's bad. Uh, oh, sorry, You're trying not to laugh, Carla. Right, speaking of football. <laughs> you know, because of joke. No, we seventy six gaming says the other bad thing about Dominic Diamond is that he's a Celtic thing, the twat. And he says, No, sorry, Celtic fan, not thing. So uh <laughs> well, seventy six obviously a Rangers fan. Yeah, I thought he was calling him an actual thing though, like the swamp thing out of that cartoon. Uh, I I'm a Celtic thing. I'm a Celtic thing. It's a Celtic thing. I'm sorry about that, mate. The donation should surely go to uh, Bob there at the end. But um you know, that's it. What? In regards to what, Carl? What the donation? 
Celtic fan? I'm not a Celtic fan. You said Celtic. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm can't, no, I said I'm a, I'm a Celtic thing, because that was a JL76 said Celtic thing originally, and then he corrected and said, sorry, Celtic fan. Ah, my apologies. Yeah. And apparently I prefer hippies to Celtic, and um, James is really know what I'm talking about there. But. My apologies. Yeah. I do have a shit PC, by the way, that I can't really hear of. Uh, no, I'm not tonight. It's, uh, it's a funny thing. Um... I'm not as pissed as I would like to be. <laughs> <laughs> I will be tomorrow night, though, for the two fat bastards. That's no fucking oh, danger. Yeah. I'm going to go out by the uh, Cobras again because that gets me off my tits. <laughs> uh, I think we can all vouch for that. You got you got pacing. You got to go for the pacing. The Cobra, the Cobra's going to bite. Yeah, it is. Honestly, yeah, I see what you did there. Uh, you see what you Cobra did. executives, if you're watching this, I'll give you my address. You can send me freebies for your little plug there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll send you some freebies. Why not? I like you. You're a good guy. No retro from 1979 here. What the fuck is he doing? He is building He's the console. I'm making the console live on the live stream. What are you doing? He's making is magic. Is not obvious? What, what is that? Is that he's, he's this frog. is the magic. You're seeing magic being created in do, front of you. Do you know what's funny about that retro game in 1979? As soon as I started talking to you and you spoke back, it started fucking raining here. What? Oh, that is weird. You know what? Why you call me the Rainmaker? Rainmaker, I like... You want to go for a piss, my life. <laughs> Anyway, I'm the uh, I'm the, the, the gaming nerd at the moment. <laughs> the glasses on. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Game, yeah. I like it. So wh yeah. who who was you all tonight? I missed out on that. Uh, Bob was Ashens. He did a great Ashens. Yeah. Tonight, yeah. Matthew, I will be Ashens. I was a pretty yeah, shitty nostalgia right. critic. Who? <laughs> sorry. I was a pretty shitty nostalgia critic. Oh, oh it was good. Okay. Yeah, Hello, I'm, I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it because <laughs> whatever. Monkey yeah, Spurs. Every time Monkey you Spurs do it, Steve Benway. Less less. <laughs> Monkey Spurs yeah, with Steve Benway. Oh my god, that was fucking hilarious. Guys, if you've not seen that out there in Streamland, you have to watch the repeat later on yeah, to check that out. We all cops. Like sex god Steve Benway. Um, with this, this, yeah, you just I, if you see it, you know what I mean. <laughs> Get the picture on you. Actually, I don't yeah. know who Steve Benway is. Steve, uh, you're still here. Yeah. Yeah. I keep hearing his name, and um. Oh uh, yeah, James. Go, that that's is. a lot. He's a he does a lot. world, and he does lots of other cool stuff. He's a he's a retro game reviewer like us, but he's a uh, he, he has his own unique style, and that's. He's been doing it for years. Right. Wow. I want it, it was probably... new gaming when he started. I want everybody. <laughs> I can say that. I want everybody in the stream, everybody in the stream, to sum up Steve Benway in one word now. Go. Sex God. <laughs> That's two words. It was a hyphen. You have to pick one. You have to pick sex or God. God. Pick my word. God. Yes, the right one. He's next. String fellow. String fellow. Console snob. He's next. I no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Am I next? Yeah, go, go. <laughs> Not gonna fucking clue who he is. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good word, yes. Now nah, I got word legend. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say smooth. MJ, subscribe. That's my yeah. word. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> subscribe. <gasps> he, uh, he's yes. Worth subscribing. He's he's one of the best people on YouTube. What better than me? Steve, yeah. Right. See you later, guys. Carl's better than you. Oh, Chris is leaving. I am indeed. Okay. Bye, Bye Chris. Bye, Chris. Bye. Thank See you Chris. very much. See you tomorrow, Bye. Chris. I'm going to be watching you Two Fat Bastards tomorrow. I will also be watching that. He's got some fucking pterodactyl to catch or something. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching later. and thanks for being yourself. Yay. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> uh, I've got so, a question for the console Sorry. Right, you, you like you like you like games and you like stuff that's a bit on the edge and you like you like you know, stuff that's a, it's not afraid of its sexuality, right? Yeah. Have you ever played any of the Cho and Eki games? I've heard of them. I've yet to play them yet. They're uh, if you don't know if any if no one knows what they are, right? They're um 
there was the guys, I can't think of the Japanese team that did it, but they did stuff like Gainog, uh or if you're American, it was Wings of War. And then they came up with this. Now, as a shooter, it's great, but it's the most homoerotic game ever made. I was going to say, you need to explain about your sexuality part. Well, in fairness, you know, you, you know, you got. How can I put this? You know, you you wouldn't be sitting around playing this in front of your mates. You know, they they'd start assuming that you know you were you were playing for the other team, so, so we say. But really? it's based. Yeah, how, you know, how yeah, do you go, do that? Go look at go, go YouTube it, right? But just maybe do it under you know. Uh, like private, on private, know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, no, uh, no, it, no. It, it and delete your browser history afterwards. It, it, all I can say Harry, is the Japanese, the Japanese is a very doing? unusual. What am keyword. I doing? I'm hosting this live stream. Why? That is the worst picture of me of all time. I fucking hate that from now. I look fucking. I look ill in that one. That was very flattering. Look at that. You just took a screen grab. A fucking chin on it. You can fucking jump kick someone with that chin. Hmm. Well, I'm that sorry I offended you. About a year's time. Yeah, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> I would do an impression of you, but I don't have a mankini to hand, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I think we're getting to One that stage. One of those pity laugh or a delay in the fucking stream. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're getting to that stage in the stream where it's starting to wind down. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've got a early start in the morning, so I'm going to oh, bid everyone adieu. Well, that's what okay. that's what I'll get myself off as well. Okay. Oh, oh will you? Oh, oh missus. Well, you know, everyone, of course, stay retro. <laughs> Sayonara. That's his catchphrase, isn't it? I like that, stay retro. I like You're right, it is. You've got to have a catchphrase, haven't you? Yeah. Have you? I don't have one. Yes, it's the law. Have you, not, have you not read the equity laws? No, it's a Bobby Dazzler. Rah! It's a Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my it's a Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> well, I've been saying that before I go. I've, I've seen last year your pickup videos, and she's not there. It, it's like, ah. Oh, we... It's funny, you know. It's, it's funny. Um, I can't... She, she don't, she's no interest in them though. She, you don't want to, because uh, it's summer. A friend yeah, you're playing with. Yeah. go out and play. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see her more in the winter months, uh, being disruptive and being <laughs> an absolute twat. <laughs> Driving you nuts, yeah. The winter months, did you say then? The winter months. Winter yes. months. Mm. What, what, what do you, what do you think I said? I, that's exactly what I thought you said. I just oh, look that. at that. <laughs> <laughs> see what he's done there. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, so um, that's it really. Yeah, so I thought I'd uh, say hello. What what are you you still fucking soldering there or whatever you're doing? Uh? No, look at oh, the picture. Look at that. Jeez, what happened there? That's look brilliant. At, look at the picture. <laughs> Is that monkey spares? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, have no, I, I have no idea who that is. Steve Benway, I know. Because you told me, but that looks like fucking. What's his That's Monkey Spaz. Beatles guy. What's his name? The Beatles guy. <laughs> John Lennon John or, or Ringo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god, you got to go back and watch that because when that was revealed, I fucking lost my shit. I was fucking laughing my head off so bad. <laughs> fucking funny. Hang on, what's so this? So funny. Business? It's what? It's. Uh, Sorry? It's Stephen. I think he's taking people's photos. No. Nope. Oh, what's he doing? Nope. What's he doing? It's just popped yes. up and said, smile. Quack. Quack. I've nothing to hide. I'm here. I saw you earlier. Who gives a fuck? Um, you, you can take photos. What do you mean, take photos? I think you can take photos of each other. Can you? I think so. You better go off camera then. <laughs> I don't mind getting my photo taken. Yeah, well, that's the problem. You I'm not very I'm... photogenic. In fact, I think I'm probably the best looking one here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Photoshop. Yeah, actually. You are a fucking ghost train or something. You nah, Stu is probably the best troll you could ever have. Especially when you fucking it review is. games that he absolutely loves. And I, I have I don't to know second why. Oh, dear. <laughs> Get that creepy thing off your camera, Bob. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What's that a bog? Is it a bog? Is that a bog? Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> it seems we've come full circle here on this, haven't we? Yes, it does seem we've come full circle. So, guys, do you think this is about the right time to wrap up now? Yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah. sure you all have homes to go to. Yeah, yes, Steve. I'm already in there. Yes, Steve. I got Steve? To pull this fucking crap back, and while I was pulling out my fucking Neo Geo, I dropped all my fucking games on the floor here. So great. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that shit up for half an hour. So, do we have any last requests before we leave for the evening? Yeah, can we do it again? <laughs> okay, go and get changed again, everybody. <laughs> Shut that robot up. <laughs> Be quiet, Eve. I thought maybe the robot could sign us off because he's a better public speaker than I am. Well, no, it's, it's very Pat the NES punk, that is. You need to bring that into your sh fucking shows. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, that's oh, God. That, that really is our cue to leave, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, before we go, no. quick, quick shout out to Faulty Cog who subscribed. Oh yes, and absolutely. you have some very strange uploads, Mr. Faulty Cog. That's all I'm going to say. But I'm not going to judge. It's all good. What with the wet yeah, blouses? Uh... Very into the wet blouses. Yes. Oh, the wet T-shirt. The gentleman's yeah. relish. <laughs> Takes all coins. Yeah, okay. I'm last subscriber. Okay then. <laughs> I've been Dominic Diamond, and I've been here for some of the stream doing this terrible accent. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, on that bombshell, I'm going to go and eat some of Auntie Marisha's cooking. So, guys, do you have anything else to say? Uh, as Ashton to say, goodbye! Would he say that? No, well, he gives us a low, so yeah, he, he wouldn't really. Goodbye, folks. Somebody One more buy... thing. One more thing. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're going to stick your dick in a toaster. Never touch on a live wire. Stay retro. Oh, we can't possibly end on that. Somebody say something intellectual. Come on. Oh, what? Right? What? <laughs> the other catchphrase. The other Thank one. Thank you the and one. good night. <laughs> up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, start. <laughs> yeah, it's about GTF. Get to fuck. Fuck the lot of you. It's the end. Fuck off. Go to sleep. <laughs>